Hello! Hello, chat. How are we? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> um, let me just set everything up and then I'll be ready. Is it working? Is it working? Oh, yeah, it is. Cool. Um, uh, I lower it into 154p. With the, with the, with, with the live chat. Let me just... Let me just uh, see if chat box is working because I say up, I set chat box up and I want to see if it's working. Ah, oh, don't you dare say it's not working now. I'm going to be so upset if it isn't working. Oh, no, it's working. I'm pretty sure anyway. Hey. I literally just asked when you were going to stream. <laughs> No, it's working just kind of slow. I mean, at least chat box is working. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. As long as it's working. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you did. I didn't even see the messages. Yeah, I, 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 uh, my plan was to stream originally at like three. And then I, I turned away. I looked back and it was four, so I don't quite know what happened there. But either way, we're here. We're here. That's what matters. That's what matters the most. Does everything sound okay before I start? I don't want to start with audio being messed up or anything. As long as everything sounds okay, we can begin. Is it all okay? I, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to say it's all okay. I'm going to say that everything's set up uh, as it should be. Sweet. Okay, let's go, guys. A new dating sim. A new dating sim. I can't wait to get. I can't wait to get into this one. I. I like the silly dating sims. I think they're funny. I like the silly ones. <laughs> You wake up on the beach, soaking wet salt, or wa salt water, stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you opened it to gasp for air. Ew. <laughs> Rubber air. You have no memory of how you get here. Or got here, even. I can't read. In fact, you can only remember your name, but not where you came from. Or any single fact about your life. I can't remember a thing. Not a single thing. What you do know is that, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <laughs> wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute, or can I go? Because I can give you a minute. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. Oh, an, end an eternity if you catch my drift. Whoa, not now, Ocean. <laughs> Sorry, Pine, may I continue? Please, go on. Okay, then. As I was. <laughs> As I was saying, you look down at your feet, angled deep in the crystal blue water of newly arrived wave. Of a newly arrived wave. Um, As the water recedes, uh, recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Oh. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's just lovely, isn't it? A decomposing face stares, stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit. A stream of dark bile. Bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? <laughs> However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Dig up that face? Ew. Close your eyes. Run. Let's run. You turn away from your wretched sight and begin to run. But the beach, it's endless. Despite how far you run, you get nowhere. Exhausted, you stop and look behind you. 
your footsteps erased by the soft blue waves. You turn inland, considering your lack of options, you've got no choice but to walk into the brush. However, the beauty of the beach is not shared by the darkness of the palm, the palmy woods before you. There's nothing inviting about the shadowy forest. Terror freezes you in your steps. Why are you trying? Well, <laughs> let me repeat that. <laughs> Why are you trying to run away? This is paradise. You're here to enjoy yourself. Don't you know? Have a little bit of fun. Take charge of your own experience. Well, that was sure weird. That voice again. Do oceans normally talk? Your memory isn't right, but you're pretty sure you remember le uh, learning as a child that oceans do not speak directly to people in spooky terms. If at all, oceans don't speak at all. Last time I checked. My kebab is on the way. <laughs> get that kebab, get that kebab. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something soft bumping your foot. A volleyball! When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down, frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. Little help, please? You turn around and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground. Oh! She's beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> she's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and, <laughs> and a well-tended volleyball court. Each of them oozes with undead energy, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you. Mmm, I wouldn't use that word, but okay. Via your eyes, your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed, let's call them killers. I don't know, not, I don't know. Oh, 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 it was part of that sentence. Let's call them killers. I don't know. Not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you are completely paralyzed. Uh, hello. <laughs> there are weird days, but then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at the monstrous lineup of, well, literal monsters. Sexy ass monsters, may I add. <laughs> what do you do? Say no thanks, say nothing, do nothing, kick it back or toss it back. Toss it back, let's join in. You bend down and grab the ball. Grab the ball. It's a warm. Oh, it's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. I have kebabs so my hands will be greasy and unable to type. I wish you luck. Thanks. Yeah. <sighs> When you give a, the uh, ball a toss, it, arch, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hands. Not bad, stranger. <laughs> Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. You look, you look her up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps maybe a little sweaty. But that's okay, it's natural. <laughs> Try hard much? Oh, this is the spirit. Try hard much? <laughs> They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Volleyball? Volleyball? Volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to give too much away, but at the same time, 
damn, they are looking very appealing in their own way. And nobody such... Uh, and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, Pine. You were made for this. Well, geez. If the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. Yeah, because I definitely trust the ocean. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Well, I'm interested. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. Hey! <laughs> you derailed the, the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best to just go with what the trapper says and when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who also, um, who also, uh, God damn it. Who always seems to have fresh blood on their hands. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? I mean... Oh, wait. I can't do Trapper's voice, like, on command. I need to, like, get into the, uh... Get into the mindset for Trapper. Eh? <laughs> You mean they're here to do more than just distract from my total domination? <sighs> that was Rafe. That sigh means he was done with the game. Either that or he saw a bu uh, he saw a butterfly or something. Eh? Look, I don't care why this uh, slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know. Can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least, not yet. Wait, wait, have I just- I just clocked. Am I gonna die at the end of this game? Is that like the- the final plot twist? Is that no matter which killer I go with, I, I just die? It just depends which one I want to die from. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey Pine. Oh, this isn't Huntress. <laughs> hey Pine, you might want to, mm, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There'll be plenty of time for that uh, soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a timed quiz and it will be and it will be very important later. Very important. Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one. I can't remember. Not a clue, I only saw one character's playthrough. Okay, okay. How attractive would you say you are? Yeah, uh, average. I'm pretty average, I think. Just another face in the crowd. I never know more meaningless life in an endless cycle. I think. Oh, this is Huntress. I think you're. I think you're quite cute myself, like a chipmunk's chipmunk, chick chipmunk, or a grizzly bear. Oh, what 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 voice could I do for Rafe? What voice could I do for Rafe? He should be like he should be like James Bond, where he's like cool. He's like Bond. <laughs> the name's James Bond. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, flight. Flight for sure. Technically, I suppose you can fly. Uh, te technically, I suppose I can fly. Honestly, it's not all that. Uh, it's not all that is cracked up to be as far as I go. I'm still not where I want to be What was your best subject in school? Uh, technically skipping class, but if I had to choose history History? Oh, that's me. History <laughs> Nice, it's important to know what came before so that we're not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes I mean we will anyways, but still What's your favorite animal? What's a mustelid? I'm gonna go dog. Dog seems like a safe charge, right? A dog. Uh, you'd look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. That's weird, bro. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Eh, blue isn't good for productivity. Makes people want to be lazy. Uh, uh, isn't he wearing blue and white though? Is he not? I'm pretty sure that's blue and white. 
Lad, I think I think I think you're I think you're being a bit hypocritical there. What's your dream job? Uh not working at all. <laughs> if we get to do what we really want, why work at all? It takes a lot of courage to break free from society's expectations to climb the ladder. Damn right! Oh my god, she speaks so much sense. Eh? Only she could spin laziness into some kind of grand crusade. These damn millennials. Best flavor of ice cream. Vanilla. Was that horse flesh that I just saw? My favor is pain. All right. Same. Same here. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. That, that. Mine is vanilla. It's world with pain. I think mint chip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself. But enough about ice cream, am I right? I would agree that mint chip is actually like one of the best flavors. People sleep on it. Hold on a second. This reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. We're teaching lessons now, Narada. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island. Even for faceless voices. Tell me what's the best flavor of ice cream. Mint chip. It is. It is. It is. So obedient. I think you're going to do just fine. Anywho. Now that they know so much about you. I'm sure the group wants to uh, wants you to start getting to know them. Eh, I'm Trapper. I'm pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Rafe. That's a bit rude. Hi, I'm Rafe. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. <laughs> I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time. But the things I do hate, I really hate, you know. Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society's, society is a carefully calculated lie to keep everyone sub sub subservient to those in power. It's better to choose to just not take part. Jeez. It's like she was downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. <laughs> oh, if only you knew. Oh, no, wait. I'm remembering Spirit's story now. And that's almost exactly what happened. <laughs> ah, hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bummers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. I like Huntress. I like Huntress. Rafe and Huntress is like two of my favorites at the moment. But that could be because I'm giving Rafe like a cool voice. Eh? Yeah, there is. If you know what I mean. Grow up. Grow a body. <laughs> That's so messed up. I've explained this thousands of times. I'm dead, but I'm not literally a ghost. I just... I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. <laughs> That's not nice. He's not nice. Eh, hey, you love it. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she- that's why she likes it. <laughs> Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time, everyone I agree with, Rafe. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Racist trouble. <laughs> Besides, if I knew this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's do something in else instead. 
Wow. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah, I should be giving spirit, not high-pitched voice, but like a... Like a voice that's like just done with society, like a... Wow, for once I actually agree with the meathead. It. I say we go back to my yacht. It's the massive boat docked in here, boy. I don't see a yacht. Oh, wait, no, I think I might see it in the background. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Rafe rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flaunted uh, needlessly and the cruelty it uh, engenders. Engenders. What about hanging by the, out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? That's a perfect good lounge to chill out at. Um, there's a perfectly good lounge to chill out uh, at right here. I'm tired. And besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, so this is the yacht. Volleyball, ocean, or lounging. I think the ocean scares me, so I don't want to be anywhere near it. So I'm going to choose, um, I, I, I'm going to choose to lounge away from the ocean because it does, it does make me scared. It'd be great to relax for a second and, and lounge. To kick up your feet, look over at the ocean and relax in your own terms. Who would want anything else dry, comfortable, enjoying a cool drink on a hot day? It's not the, it, um, it is the best, sorry. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a fool, what kind of a monster, what kind of a mask-wearing psychopath would finally be granted a break from the constant grind of chasing and fighting to get ahead and then choose to exert themselves in, quite frankly, any way whatsoever? Why am I the only one who gets it? It's time to stop living by their rules. I won't do it any longer. <laughs> oh my god, she got she got she got angry. <laughs> she got really angry, didn't she? Jeez. So don't ask Spirit about society, because she won't be too happy about it. Yeah, we should probably give her a second to calm down. Claudia! Hold on. For just one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activity co uh, coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. <laughs> wow, they're more useful than my random solo queue teammates. What a surprise. <laughs> they're the only help remaining on the island, which is more than I can say about my solo queue teammates. What a surprise. <laughs> this place we call Murderer's Island Cue dramatic musical flourish. None of the others survived. Ahem, <clears throat> survived the inter interview process, I mean. Hence why we shall here, uh, here to fore? Hence why we shall here to fore refer to them as survivors with a capital S. <laughs> These two have worked here a long time, so very long. I don't actually know how it's been, how long it's been. Sorry. Anyway, I should probably let, let Dwight and Claudette do their uh, mandated jobs. They shall sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. We will escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However... In the future, we recommend waiting for us to be present, you, uh, to present you with your options whenever possible, and don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. We don't, we don't have much uh, autonomy around here. At least you can do it. Uh, you can do is allow us to do our job. Oh. Uh. The most you could, uh, the most you can do is help us get off this. I. Dwight. Yes, pardon me. Please follow us. Hey, narrator? Yes. Something I can help you with. 
those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Escape is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off the island, though. Oh, right, that. Yes, that's true. He was. But he just meant that he wants to get off. Uh, he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway. A couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits. Quite exclusive. Where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has though. Trust me. You wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity on this island. Your decisions matter mostly. When I agree with them, not like that other island. So what, uh, so what will it be? Oh, is it asking me to definitely lock him which where I want to go? Um, I think I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind to more closer to the ocean. I want to be with Rafe. He's so cool. Rafe moves ahead to the pool at a pace that could almost be considered jaunting. Jo jaunt jaunty. If a creature so lanky, uh, if a creature so lanky, they appear to... Uh, made entirely of elbows and ankles could joint. Um, what's going on with Rafe's face? Is that a smile? Is that what a smile looks like when he does it? <laughs> what can I say? Being enveloped by water is comforting. It's quiet. It's ominous. And you know, Rafe looks back over each shoulder to make sure no one's beside you is within their shot. The fire can't get me. Super normal stuff here, as usual. Oh great, it's Claudette and Dwight. What do these two want? Uh, since everyone's at the pool, we figured we'd bring over some of our most popular pool accessories. Pine, which one of these in particularly interests you? Foam noodles, inflatable lounge job, basketball hoop, goggles and snorkels. I can't swim, so I'm going with the inflatable lounger so I don't drown. Those lounges look pretty comfortable. Mm, sleeping during the day, completely out in the open like this. You're really making yourself a target. If someone were to, I don't know try and throw an axe directly at you well psh, you'd be sh you'd sure be easy to see not that i'm saying i would do that to you i prefer a challenge yeah she she prefers going for the orbitals because that way she can get a uh, bonus points huntress may not be into it but it sure looks like spirit co-signs this choice since she immediately snakes the coolest one it's the shape of a casket, a really cute casket. A casket? I don't really do water, but as long as I'm floating on top of it, that's fine, I guess. Spirit grabs you in the, uh, Spirit grabs you the black unicorn floaty and sets it in the water next to her. And since you also enjoy the fine art of relaxing here, you can share my umbrella. Well, come on, that's charming. Something about the water and being this close to spirit is putting you in a playful mood you might regret. Do you splash her just a little bit? I promise she doesn't have a cell phone in her pocket. She died before they got popular. Oh, do we do it? Do we splash her? Do we splash her? You splash uh, it's in spirit's direction ever so softly. She looks outraged and then giggles. Didn't see that coming. Do it again, and I'll cut your head off. For a waking nightmare, you could almost believe that you're starting to relax a bit and forget about how much you can't remember. She likes feet, do it. <laughs> 
It's as if the sun's very rays have a calming effect on you, your body, uh, tranquilized by the soft light from overhead, coupled with the cool breeze rolling in from the sea. And you're not alone. I feel recharged by the gentle warmth of the ocean's cares. It, if it, if it was a little too warm, they might have been my fault. Also, this is a pool, not the ocean. Okay, everyone, just let him finish. Thanks, Pine. I know this probably doesn't seem like me, but would anyone want to play a game of Marco Polo? <laughs> yes, I love games. I'll go first. Someone blind for me. Mm, that's a bit. <laughs> okay, of course, Trapper has a blindfold ready to go. It's as if he had uh, it in his hands before you even spoke. Um, and did he just wink? And did he just bite your lip? Uh, good thing you're getting rained, rained, rained in. Be oh, good thing you're getting rained in because it sure seemed like you were about to act up. Oh, there's mini games. Mini games consist of two parts on top, a pointer which rotates in the in a clockwise direction. Yep. Um, and on the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible. Sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press the space bar to stop the point. Oh, so it's like a skill check. It's a skill check, basically. The trapper does have cock and ass. Fail to land on the target and you will lose. To achieve a perfect success, land on the start of the target area, not the end. Okay, ready to play? Or would you like me to repeat that? I am ready to play. Ready, away we go. It's time to feel around. Go get them, tiger. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's not bad. That is so hard. Perfect. I'm supposed to be it. You must complete. Yeah, wait, maybe because it's going a little bit fast. That was pretty good, Pine. Eh. No, it wasn't. Don't lie. Just ignore him. You've just been thrown into a weird situation and uh, you held your own. I respect that. That was a good game. I say we celebrate by throwing this waiter whose name I forgot into the pool. <laughs> Defend Dwight, have some fun. Uh, you know what? This is for all the times that Dwight left me on hook. Hilarious. Bullying truly is a gift that keeps on giving. You grab Dwight's legs and help Trapper give him the heave-ho. You know what? Sorry I can't pretend to support you on this one. Only Trapper is just sadistic. I know it's all in good fun or whatever, but not on my murdering uh, murderer's island. Yeah, that's right. This place really is called Murderer's Island. But that doesn't mean we're cool with bullying. You're on thin ice, friend. <laughs> I'm no expert, even though as an omnipotent narrator, I probably should be. <laughs> but I think that means it's time for the next activity. I like how it breaks the fourth wall a little bit. Seems like the next activity is mealtime. How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated uh, it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table. This ain't some prestigious fantasy uh, epic like you'd find on cable. Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat, but there's very limited seating around you. And oh, great, terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to you, uh, next to certain people, other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to a trapper. <laughs> Understandable. 
Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Rafe or Trickster. Trickster! He's here! I don't like Trickster, but he's here! Oh yeah, Trickster is here. Surprised? Yeah, well, they don't call him expected stir. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds of killers and my whole stick gets a little flustered. Hey there, you're, you're looking good, Pine, real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. <laughs> They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. Look at this. We can't fit everyone on the screen at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but <laughs> it's not. It was completely intentional. <laughs> Never a friendly trickster. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side. The rest of them will sit opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Uh, now that everyone is seated, now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. We can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a, over a spit. Uh, we hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's, uh, it's meat. Seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. My favorite. <laughs> meat is good. The meat is murder. I noticed that Huntress's and uh, Race voice are similar. I might need to change one of her voices. Which you'd know considering what you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? I'm just, I'm just sharing facts and you need to murder something to eat its meat. So that's like technically true. Eh, technically true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping. Oh wait, no, I should, I should keep Huntress's voice the same, but give Rafe the like, the nya 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 voice. Okay, enough yapping, let's eat. Hey Pine, you're thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person on this on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know. When you look closely at the at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? It took 12, this took 12 hours. And, and we don't, and we do literally everything on this island. Eh, actually, there's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow, he's right for a change, because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. First, who says twain? Is it twain or twine? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all completely, all from completely different historical eras. <laughs> oh, it's, I love how fourth breaking this is, like fourth wall breaking this is. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked, no blood. Uh, you two and your ridiculous Bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Ovs. The hell it is. Oh, I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. <laughs> Please, I hate when we fight our talk. I don't like his new voice. <laughs> uh, even when we look each other in the eye. I could do it. I have the skull of Azeroth. Great. 
Instead of slicing it up, you can club it into second death. Hey, Pime. I know this isn't what you want to eat. Best hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. I mean, dinner. <laughs> Wait, is it Felix we're eating? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyperbole. They once argued over who had the most effective weapons for 72 straight hours. I mean, if we're talking about effectiveness, I would go with Huntress's Axe. I reckon Trapper does not sharpen his cleaver. Last time I checked, Spirit's Katana is in like pieces and not like a whole thing. And Wraith has a club. So if I had to say, it's probably Huntress's Axe, which is the most effective. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're done, they will take even, take even longer cleaning their weapon. All while explaining the value in maintaining your tools. Oh, I suppose maybe they would uh, maintain them. I still think Huntress's Axe would be the most effective weapon, though. Plus, she has hatchets that she can throw. So, you know, I would say Huntress. Oh, let me get comfortable again. Despite a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason, they're always terrified of tetanus. <laughs> You catch Claudette and Dwight doing some sus stuff after this, I think. Oh, really? Hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? I mean, Felix. I mean, dinner. <laughs> uh, splendid idea. We'd hate for it to get cold. He hated when it got cold. Uh, here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Oh, no, not this again. Mini games consist of two parts. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. It's a very awkward system, mini game thing, but it is what it is. Oh, oh, I hit it! Perfect. 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 No, that was so off. You missed completely, I noticed. I, I, it's going too fast, man. That was pretty good. I'd like to see... Uh, I'd like to see what you could do with, uh, with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Also, you've seen that, but have you seen your katana? It's in, like, pieces, lad. It's not even, like, a whole thing. Look, it's got chips all over it. It's not even, like, maintained very well. Dinner is finally served. For real. The sounds, especially coming from the mask killers when while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be really, uh, really be embracing uh, being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell, I mean. Come on. We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight are the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to sma uh, mash stuff through there. Spirit, uh, why aren't you hungry? The two best things are being dead uh, about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Pine. Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. Do you see how deep this cut on my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. <laughs> Between the food and the behavior of this group, this might be the worst meal in history. But even worse is they're, sta they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't ha uh, They don't like that. Wait, you, you were talking about them not 
lifting their masks. Huntress would technically not need to lift her mask, right? Her mask is like half covering her face. She technically wouldn't need to lift a mask to eat. Rafe hasn't even got a mask. Trapper does, so maybe he would have to lift his. Like, what? But even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. Why do you want... Uh, why do you want to tell them? Uh, what do you want to tell them? This is gross. I'm sorry. Look at that seagull. Wow. You ever, uh, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, um, what were we talking about? Lame, misdirect. Yeah, she's right, Pine. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Eh? Didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are or how you got here? Yes, you poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal. And you've been standing in the sun. But the seagull! Uh-oh. <laughs> he just made a lot of good points. I swear! <laughs> You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No way, you haven't eaten. You can't be poisoned. Hmm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh, hey. It's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that uh, that character uh, characterization. Well, I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path, or at least a right path. There's too many, uh, there's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over. And having to fast forward back to where you were. Am I right? First. This place, this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Vague, mysterious. I gotta give it- I gotta give it up to this ocean character. There's something quality early game storytelling. Quit yapping. Just get to Claude and Dwight. What was he yapping? You wake up to find spirit holding your limp body. Gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Uh, don't you just love the ocean at night? I do. Staring out at staring out over the vast darkness of the ocean really validates the feelings inside me that were all truly insignificant and the only thing worth pursuing is revenge. I have to wonder how could anyone believe anything else? You look out into the darkness of night and ponder her question. Well, it's a simple question. How could they? How could anyone not feel small and alone in the face of such massive nothingness? You've always been alone. You found someone special. I used to feel that way. Small, unimportant, alone. But lately, I'm not sure I'm not so sure. I started to feel different. I started to actually think that maybe this island is where I might meet someone special. You look at Spirit, who has turned from the ocean to look at you while you speak on this topic. She's clearly so passionate about it. A friend. Perhaps something more. 
I don't know what this island has planned for me. <laughs> a friend. Friends are just cowards who seek comfort in numbers. I had friends once. Back before I was chopped into a bunch of pieces by my father. Friends aren't what's keeping me held together. I'm floating in a cloud of rage. Ugh. I was so dumb. So busy trying to please everyone and be the perfect student, the perfect employee, the perfect daughter. I didn't take care of myself and now I'm all I've got. Worst of all, I got distracted from my true purpose, my destiny. The purpose that was sitting inside me my whole life. Okay, so this might sound a bit silly, but Spirit looks around to see if there's anyone on the beach. When she's convinced that it's only you two, she continues. There's a dragon that lives inside me. I've always known, but I've tried to ignore it. When I couldn't ignore it, I tried to push it down. I'm so stupid. You're not stupid, that sounds badass. Right? But I didn't let it out, and then I, you know, chop chop. And now that dragon is pretty much a one-track revenge beast. But enough about me, what's inside of you, stranger? Nothing but darkness. No dragon, just a lot of fire. No dragon, just fire. A raging inferno. In fact, begging to burn this whole place down if I let, out, let it out. Maybe I am the dragon. I'm sorry, but that, but you're no dragon, uh, no dragon, and breathing fire, that's some hobbit type nonsense. I'm a descendant of proud samurai, our dragons are on a whole nother level. Looks like there was only room for one dragon inside spirit, after all. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you, and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off whenever uh, whatever new danger has popped up in this on this strange island. Uh, only to find out that it's Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they're waving in the air above their heads. Ah, it's very important that we uh, stick to the itinerary. And attend each event as scheduled. Uh, playing sick for cute flirt points was not part of this evening's activities. That's uh, that's strictly slotted in for after campfire story time. At this rate, we'll be late. Playing sick? No, I was. Mm, no time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flirting. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, it's campfire time. Woo! Once everyone has gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not about... To, we're not going to blame anyone in particular. But someone... And we're not going to say who, so don't worry, you you haven't uh, you hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means that we're behind on time for evening events. And we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nightmare story. Just one story? But story time is my favorite activity! <laughs> This is a narrative heavy experience. You're telling us that only one person gets to share? How will we decide who? Oh great, we have to decide as a group. That never goes well. Hey, whoever did this, step up now. I swear I won't be angry. I'll merely chop your head off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, you realize this is probably it for you. But you embrace your fate. Uh, s sorry everyone. I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I still don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. But there. Been there before. Uh, why have you made Trapper a Northern? A Northern? Because <laughs> he reminds me of one. <laughs> 
been there before. Even though it's taking some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true, it is really fair to pick on the newbie. Seriously? Has any anything ha here ever happened on schedule ever once? Eh, damn it, Donald. If you try to flex that authority gimmick one more time, so help me, I'll snap your head off so quick, and then I'll drown you in his blood. Cynthia. For some moss, I back on. You two know I love to hack, slash, and slice. Well, all oh, you love to, we all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Fucking hell, Danny G on one again. <laughs> Nobody named any names. Who even know? Uh, who even knows any names? Not us. Uh, I, I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. Nobody. <laughs> but we still gotta get started on story time, so... Pine, who do you think should go? Ah, damn it, that's a name. Please pick somebody quickly so that it, this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. Ah, I don't know. Ah, 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 ah. Mmm, Huntress. <laughs> My one and only. I choose Huntress. Whoa, whoa, this entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the catchphrase, will ya? Huntress steps up to tell her story. The campfire flickers in her far, far away eyes. There, there is a village outside the deep and ominous... Um, ominous redwood no child dare to step foot past the threshold of thick trees and brush that separate its safety from the unknown grown men that ventured in often would never return and that and the sounds that echoed out into the village were something inhuman the women of the town told a story to the young children hoping that it would be enough to dissuade them from curious exploration beyond the boundaries of the village. They told of a creature that lurks in the woods, half woman, half beast, singing like a siren, hunting beautiful, her voice the last relic of her humanity. It lulls all, um, it lulls all who hear it into her domain, and not Pre uh, not precocious child nor fierce soldier can escape once you are in her clutches those who've seen her say she wears a mask of hair stained with the blood of so many poor souls the hatchet she wields has been brought down brutally on the skull of so many an unexpecting hunter the nightmare doesn't end there. For what's a hungry beast to do in the frigid winters with nothing but hunter meat to live off? It is said that the huntress, as the villagers called her, couldn't bring herself to kill the young girls she came across in the forest. Instead, they'd suffer an even worse fate. Longing for a child of her own, She'd bring them down to her scheduled cabin. Oh, secluded cabin. <laughs> to keep them safe. She'd wrap a tight cord of rope around their necks and affix them to the wall. That way, they'd be warm. That way, they'd be out of harm's way. The Yaptress. <laughs> the Huntress would even bring the girls presents. Toys she'd Litford and uh, no, pilfered from other bodies, masks she'd fashioned out of things from the cottage, and little dolls made of grass and twigs. But these toys did nothing to quell the children's fear. Within days, the girls would waste away from starvation and dehydration. For all her good intentions, the huntress had never learned how to care for a human child. You see a tear creep down from underneath Huntress's mask. 
Suddenly, the most beautiful singing voice you've ever heard fills the air. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Tried to do Huntress's uh, theme there. Sleep, my darling tiny one. Tucked within your bed so tight. Else the old grey wolf will come and grab you by your side. There's a brief moment of silence and you feel the need to contribute to this stirring moment. Slow clap, make a joke, join in singing, uh, make a joke, wow, I didn't realize I was in a horror musical, right guys? <laughs> uh, my grandma always wanted me to see, uh, to see me in a play, she loved my singing voice. Wait, Rafe can sing? Uh, of course he's a secret musical theater nerd. As so was I. Spirit and Rafe high five before leaving together to discuss what role they each played in Pippin. They cash you a dirty look on your way out for judging Huntress's story so harshly. This may not be the first la my first language, but context clues tell me you're making fun of my story. So the Huntress is some kind of silly joke to you. <laughs> The only monster in these woods is you. Huntress kicks, sta uh, kicks sand into the pit fire and storms off into a huff. Now you've done it. You sensitive fool. But it was funny. <laughs> There's no need for bullying. These killers are so complex. On that note, everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up for a little bit so that they can all have a moment alone before bed. Everyone leaves and you're alone by the fire. The only thing you hear is the ocean slowly... Uh, lapping against at the shore. This is nice. A true moment of peace and tranquility that lasts for all of seven seconds before Trixer shows up and he's blaring his latest song. <laughs> hey baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join ya? He doesn't wait for an answer. I know you've been hearing from these go uh, goopies all day. But I want you to hear something from a big fish like me. Something special those in charge on, of this island don't want to hear. Remember your training. <laughs> don't fall for Trickstar. Do not love Trickstar. We do not like Trickstar. We must stay focused. I am the ultimate catch on this island. The only lobster in an ocean of sardines. No one can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come find me, baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Trickster leaves you. You're a bit confused about what to make of his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get any time to yourself to think about them just yet. Huntress approaches you. Don't worry. I'm not mad that you tried to make a little joke. It's just a tale of woe and tragedy. Sometimes we try and laugh at the things we can't control. Of course, she liked my story. Who wouldn't? It hadn't. It had any everything. Cute kids, dead men, a huntress. I find that all stories are better with the sound of a burning fire filling the air around you. All the smoke, however, I could do without. I'd rather eat barbecue that smell like that smell like it. Let's rinse off all that campfire with a dip in the hot tub, shall we? Dipping in the hot tubs with the Huntress. You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow her. An offer like that? Just don't forget our little talk. The ocean scares me. I, 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 I understand why I fear it now. You and your storyteller friend slips into the water. It's just the right temperature for an evening dip. Plus... If some jealous shark comes along and manages to jump from the ocean into the pool, you're also pretty sure your killer companion can handle it. Before you run off, I wanted to make something clear. You know that half-woman, half-beast I was talking about in my story? That's me. I'm her. No way, how cool. No way, how cool. That's really awesome. Thanks for being vulnerable and telling such a personal story. Huntress Fox shyly twirls her hair. The truth, tell the truth. 
What did you think of my tale? Do I have the makings of a best-telling author such as a as the comedic mastermind Dovesky? Dovinky? <laughs> It was a really well-told narrative. Clear beginning, middle, and end. Riveted uh, from the start. Plus, the woman in the forest, I mean you, are clearly not a true villain. You were just a traumatized child. Okay, now you're just being a suck-up. Huntress's eyes leer at you from behind the mask. She had her time in the spotlight and is uh, playing coy now. Chuckle awkwardly, call out her tired storytelling. You chuckle, uh, chuckle awkwardly at Huntress's statement of the obvious. Why are you laughing? I can't help but giggle when I'm both about to die and also maybe falling in love. You can't believe how awkward this intimidating woman seems right now. It's actually pretty endearing. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly despite your steamy companion. It's a little chilly and your bare shoulders must be freezing. Let's head back to the fire and put uh, me to bed, eh? We hate to intrude on whatever smooth moves were about to unveil themselves. But it's time for bed. Usually nighttime is when I do my best hunting. But after a day like today... Even I'm pretty tuckered out. Will I see you tomorrow, Pine? Only if I don't see you first. Cock blocked. I know. I literally got cock blocked. You make cute little bow, bu a bow hunting motion. Oh, you make a cute little bow hunting motion. Huntresses catches the imaginary arrow you shoot in her teeth. And then bites down hard. Snapping it in half. At least... You think that's what she's doing. It's kind of hard to tell. Good night, my little snack. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't a reference to actually eating you. I'm not so sure. You head over to the campfire. The heat is comforting on this chilly night. Looking into the crackling embers, you think about Huntress's story of the half-human beast that in, uh, abducted all those innocent children, an attempt to save them that led to their doom. Huntress making you blush a little bit. Are you mis are you a mistaken prisoner uh, here on this island? Is this your salvation, or will it be your demise? Before you can dwell too much on your fate, Claudette and Dwight arrive there, now familiarly, uh, familiar, creepy smiles stretching from ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by firelight. We must apologize for our, for the accommodations. Uh, we weren't prepared for another guest, but we're doing, uh, we're going to make you comfortable or die trying. They hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you to snuggle by up by the fire. Perhaps some music will put you t at ease. Mm. Oh man, I'm tired. Um, just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Our other guests aren't the types you'll want to rub a uh, rub of their beauty sleep. Oh, mini games. Here we go. Here's the mini games again. Here's the mini games again. I'm ready. Here we go. As you relax, you look into the fire. The radio begins to fuzz and flicker. You examine it and decide that you might adjust the dial to fix it. What? Hold on. What is this one? What is this? What is this? Let's see what's on the station. Oh. Uh, let's just turn it off. No matter how many things you listen to, you can't you still can't sleep. You decide to ask one of the killers to spend a little more time with you. Uh until you're sleepier. Who would you like to summon by your side to lay by the fire? You know who I'm gonna pick. Huntress, are you around? I was wondering if I could get a little company. Huntress appears in an instant. You really didn't hear her coming. 
She's more than happy to tell you her secret for falling asleep when she's feeling restless. Oh, oh yeah, I should have made Huntress Russian. She was Russian, wasn't she? Was she? Yeah, she was Russian, right? If a Soviet lullaby doesn't work, this special special mushroom tea has always done the trick. When I'm not coating the blade of my hatchet in it to ease the passing of my victims, I'm steeping it in piping hot mug of water to try it. You do. You finally start to feel sleepy, except maybe this isn't really a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed. You try to keep your eyes open, but you can't. Darkness overtakes you. The dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. It shouldn't still be as spooky, by now you've heard, uh, um, you've had a whole day of strange voices in your head, but this one is still undeniably odd. Look, I'm not saying that my feelings are hurt because you chose to swim in some pathetic little teacup when you could have swam in the vastness of an entire, uh, me, I guess. I'm just saying that you've made a foolish decision. And I won't forget it. My feelings are hurt. I just lost some respect for you, that's all. You're awake suddenly to see someone looming over you. When you wake up, you find spirits sitting beside you, reading a worn paperback. Oh, hey, what? Shh, shh. Clearly she made, uh, she has noticed that you're awake, but she hasn't actually looked at you. Seems like she's focused on that book. <laughs> the entity isn't sad, just disappointed. It seems like forever as she stares at the page before she finally shutting the book and setting, setting it down. Oh, you're awake. Yeah, I... Never mind. I saw you with the Huntress right before your bedtime. I wouldn't tell you how to live your life, but if you ask me, you could do a lot better. It's completely by accident I even saw them over here. It's not like I was looking out for you or anything. This was simply the best reading light and the te oh, this was simply the best reading light and the text in my book is very, very fine print. So it's tough to read in the dark. Don't get the wrong ideas. You and I are obviously mind, obviously mind our own business types, not phony look out for each other as an excuse for just being nosy types. But well, since you're here and I'm here, maybe we've got other things in common, who knows? If we spend a little bit more time together tomorrow, we might find that. I don't know, we get, we get along and by get along, I mean exist simply and comfort comfortably, comfortably, without feeling any burning desire to assassinate the other person, or not, whatever. I don't even care. Bye. Good night, and sweet dreams to you, I guess. Finally alone for the f real, f uh, for real this time. Maybe. <laughs> you drift off to sleep again. Hopefully you're not poisoned. Yeah, hopefully not. That'd be a little bit awkward. Wait a second. Where are we? This isn't... Oh, jeez, it is. It's one of those reality show confessional rooms where all of the contestants talk directly to the camera. I think today went really well. These were some of my first interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't end in bloodshed or ultimately perishing in my Russian cottage. So, I'm counting today as a win no matter what happens. What do I think of the newcomer? Um, do I have to say? Oh, I do? Okay, hmm. Attractive, mysterious. I really don't know that many other words since I was raised by my mum in the woods until she was skewered by an elk. And I want, uh, and I had to wash her entrails off my sarafan. That being said, the other three should make sure to be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow, 
but I for one will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? Rafe, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place. But he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major Buzzkill and Trapper. Oof. Where do I even begin with the Trapper? He's buff, sure, but daddy issues much? Sheesh. Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. That being said, something about this newcomer makes me th think that I might be missing out on some huge part of this thing called life. <laughs> eh, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I just want to kill just about every person I meet within a minute of meeting them. Even the few people I can tolerate, I want to see. I want to see you suffer for a long time before I kill them. But this person, for some reason, I would like them to continue living for now. One false step, and <laughs> well, you know, everyone calls me the Trapper for a reason, and they better call me Trapper. I swear, if I watch this later and you list me as Evan. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Chiron guy. I'm not really sure how to feel about Pine. On one hand, everyone I've ever cared about has met an awful fate. So it's probably good for Pine if he just keeps ignoring me. On the other hand, there's something about them that maybe could work for my plan or for me. You know... I think I learned a lot about myself today. I always thought I was doomed to be alone for eternity. Only my creeping desire for revenge to keep me company. Now I know it. <laughs> wow, that is so sad. I live for revenge and now I know for sure that is true. You open your eyes, the sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky and you feel great. Totally well rested. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by the campfire, but woke up several yards down the beach. Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You really are here for another day. Why? I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging on the beach. That is definitely not a dream. About 70% of the sky is clouds. <laughs> True. I wouldn't rule out a ni I wouldn't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? I'd talk about sexy. Here comes Trickster carrying coffee. <laughs> Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start this incredible day off, right? Oh, ooh, that doesn't look like a nice cup of joe to me. Red alert, red alert, we must stay focused, boys. Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor, though. Everyone knows musicians are morning people. I also want to wish you luck. Today is, import is an important one. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issues. <laughs> Also, I am just swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Trickster winks at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island now is... Uh, never mind, he left. Well, at least he bought me, brought me a cup of... No, wait, don't drink that! What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's a good, good on a skateboard. And he definitely didn't want that name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. That's what, uh, that was almost certainly not coffee. And I don't want anyone casually poisoning, imprisoning, and torturing you yet. This is as clear as I can be whenever, uh, when I say, do not trust this man. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise. The type of place you give a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 thumbs up review to. Not an eternal prison of pain. And please, make sure to leave a review. It really helps with the algorithms. 
That's right, because <laughs> this will be uploaded on the gaming channel. If you're watching this, like the video. It really helps with the algorithm. Anyway, I'm going to stop breaking the fourth wall now. Um, just trust me. I'm looking out for you. So can we please move on? Hey, wait a second. How did a possibly omniscient, possibly unreliable narrator physically just knock that coffee out of your hand? This is not Parliament. Parliament? Parliament. And the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak out of turn at this moment. I need no recognition, for I am the ocean. I dominate the lands. I submerge those who defy me and became uh, become their watery grave. Actually, speaking of graves, I would like to say something. Something of grave importance. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm not saying it is, even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, thumbs up review. If it was crafted with love and oh, that's the type of thing you're into. You know, the ocean is right. A lot of hard work does go into this place. You should really judge it on the artist's intent. And whenever possible, start from the mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt, constructing uh, constructing these elaborate situations, uh, I mean, vacations, it's not easy to do. Sometimes, there are some small bugs or inconsistencies, but that's just the nature uh, of the process, perfection is overrated. The universe is filled with mysteries. We ought to celebrate those who venture to bear their souls as part of a creative process with the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment, not to be overly critical of them. This is, this, this narrator is really yapping on, hey. Are you two trying to sell me this place actually being good? You don't have to say it like that, especially after I saved you from the poorly made cup of coffee. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. Uh, they they always do this on the second morning. Sad, really. Even if they do make some great points. Oh, sure, they make great points, I agree. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Oh, apologies, Pine. The last, uh, the last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time on this island? Uh, yes, it's been really entertaining. Yes, I'm not suspicious. There's no, no option. Yes, I've been having a lovely time. Uh, I'm suspicious. That's, there's a, there's a no, no option. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square. Yes, I'm not suspicious that there's a no, no option here. <laughs> what an outrage, what an encouraging response. I thought that said outrageous for some reason. And... We're so glad you're not suspicious. Hey, Claudette, maybe Pine isn't suspicious because they figured out what they're actually doing here. Oh, gee, Scoob. <laughs> Zero chance. They're still clicking, even right now, to see you how you respond. Hey, y look at that. Uh, yeah, they don't know anything. It doesn't matter, though. Pine, we're so happy you're having fun here. I didn't say I was having fun. Uh, when did I say that? When did I say I was having fun? We're all having fun, Pine. Do you hear us? <laughs> We're all having fun. We do need to ask you one more important question, though. Uh, we all had to sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Or would would you sign, please, this non uh disparagement disparagement agreement? Mm, yes, sure. Yes, I would hereby I agree to participate in a verbal contract stating that I, Pine, will never say anything negative about my stay here on this island. I mean, to be fair, as long as I get to spend time with the Huntress, there is nothing negative to say. And that is my opinion on this matter. Uh, perfect. Delightful. Excellent. Yes, yes. Hey, Pine, it's 
still totally cool if you have constructive feedback. The place to leave that, that is, in a positive review. Because we all know that nobody reads negative reviews of games, uh, resorts like this. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, are they breaking the fourth floor? Are they telling me to review this actual game on Steam? That is so funny, I might just do that after the, at the end of the stream. Anyway, I see Dwight and Claudette have gone into a trench, uh, trance, and with the grumbling I hear from your belly, that can mean only one thing. Breakfast. Why did he say it like that? Why did he say it like that? Perfect timing. Everyone rolls into their dining area, into the dining area to lard up those sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon and... So much for maintaining these beach bods. We're all half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here? A yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. Yeah, make sure you guys aren't going on a calorie deficit. You take your plate and sit down, thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experienced. Danger, dread, uh, disorientation. It was like going through puberty again. Mm, I wouldn't describe this as like going through uh, puberty, but okay. Except all in one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. Brother, I got you a caramel leg. <laughs> I mean, please, you want to get out of the stream before you see anything you don't want to see. Get out of the stream before you see anything you don't want to see. It looks like you're not the only one. This is an 18 plus game. You are 18, but please, for the love of God, get out of the stream right now. Do you want the egg, though? Yes, but do, but like leave it. Uh, yeah, hold on to it until I finish the stream. <laughs> Why did you, on the one stream that you joined, why this one? Personally, I wasn't. No, get him off the screen. <laughs> oh my God. Eh, oh God, my mic. Eh, I'll be honest. I didn't expect you to survive yesterday. So congrats, I guess. No, not, it, not his titties. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you survive today is a 50-50 at best. Good luck. I'll take a 50-50 over, like, a lower chance. Well, that was bizarre. Back to Breck. Nope. Now Huntress steps up to talk about her feelings. At this point, anything could happen. I'm open to all the possibilities that this strange island has in its store. His board... <laughs> Was also poking under the text box. <laughs> How open-minded. Ah, well, that surely must be it. No one else would weirdly stand up during breakfast tip. And just like that, here comes spirit. If I look especially well rested this morning, it's not because I slept well. As you know, I'm much too dedicated to finding revenge to ever sleep again, but because you all really le uh, left me alone yesterday to be my best non-constantly annoyed self, and I thank you for that. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to quietly resenting being trapped here with you all while looking cute doing so. Spirit spirit makes me think that she's, she's just compensating Guessing Rafe has had enough time to work up the courage to speak in front of a group. Ah, perfect. There he is. Take us home, Rafe. I'm glad the introduction of Pine to our island paradise. Oh, I'm glad the introduction of Pine to our island paradise. And yeah, that was in quotations. Didn't distract me from my normal routine. Ignoring all of you and vice versa. This place is an eternal prison of suspicion and suffering, and no one cares. I'm still the only one asking any questions. Eh, hey, I'm asking questions too. It's when will Rafe show up? I'm a bit sad you somehow missed the bit about Dwight and Claude being so Oh, really? Have I? Are you sure it's like... Are you sure it was earlier in the game and not like... On the second day? And now they're all looking at you expectantly. Wait, 
Are you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel? Uh, I think I need to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. Damn, what a power play. Keep on waiting more. You're getting good at this uh, game. Uh, sexy half true to life experience. Shame you didn't get to eat any breakfast, but so be it. Wait, I missed breakfast? Go back, I wanted pancakes. What is the point of breakfast if I don't even get to eat? After breakfast, it wasn't breakfast because I didn't get to eat. You head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was in short a lot. Before you get there though, something catches your attention. Mm, you hear that? Who are you addressing, me? Well, yeah, I guess that is okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers, but it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. Oh my god, wait, can I fall in love with the narrator? That's so funny. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind seeing how I'm not real and all. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah, I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. No, no, stick it in there. A little more, a little more. Oh yeah, that, that that's it, yes. How, how does that make you feel? Intense. Nice. Yeah, that feels right. <laughs> I can't do this. The, 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 the stream is getting demonetized. <laughs> the stream is getting demonetized. This is uncomfortable uncomfortable even, even i'm even i'm getting like choked up there and i'm not even part of this no i want you to take that and put it right yeah you know what i'm talking about uh, just like this exactly that i swear i had no idea these two even do uh whatever it is they're doing i'm afraid to look Please say something so they know you're close and by and can hear everything. Oh, wow. Uh, look at this super cool bottle of Trickster brand sun suntan lotion. Someone left on a chair. Anyone know where I can buy some? Uh, damn it. Oh, come on. A little privacy, please. Dwight, and <laughs> Dwight is panting. Claudette has a crazed look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here and that I could hear you. Well, you know. No, what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing... I don't know exactly what you were doing, but it sounded like a fun. You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We get five minutes to ourselves every day, and we spend it hoping we can stab each other in just the right spot. We won't get resurrected. Yeah, the right spot, eh? I've come to believe that the key is finding the exact place we need to bleed out from, and I believe that this place is our... Uh, I believe that this place is in our appendix. Why else would it be there? Makes sense to me. I told you it was so smart. <laughs> Did you actually think we were me and him? Dwight? <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was. <laughs> uh, you don't have to laugh that hard. They get it. <laughs> My life is a nightmare and yet somehow it's even it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I notice all our entry wounds and our five minutes is up anyway. Good luck, Pine. You're going to need it. Why? Why do I need it? Oh, hey, if you figure out how to escape the island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. There was both a tragedy and a comedy. A tragedy. Hmm. Shut up, I like it. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yeah. You're heading to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was in short a lot. So far, today has been exhausting too. Yeah, with Claudette and Wyatt. And you're dedicated to achieving a true centered sense of calm. No drama, no bullshit, just soaking up sun in a heated pool. 
Today you're on a date with you. Oh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Why w Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, all is going to plan until a shadow blocks your precious sun. Spiky tipped like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. But it's no tree at all, it's... <laughs> hey babe. Breakfast was weird, huh? What? You weren't even at breakfast. Everyone just getting up and announcing how they're feeling. Anyway, what, what's that about? Some force kind of check-in with the group? I don't like it. Kind of f uh, fishy, kind of lazy. Whatever, though. Breakfast is dumb. No, breakfast is life. How dare you call eating food in the morning dumb? No one should eat before noon or after four. Yes, they should. Yes, they should. Yes, they should. I eat food. <laughs> Before noon and after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intimate fasting. Ah, that explains it. You've seen my abs, by the way. <laughs> Maybe you can see them later at my private stage on the other island. You know, I... IP Island? Ip Island? I don't know. Where all the Hollywood celebs hang if you play your cards right. Oh, I get it. IP Island, the island uh, he's talking about, it probably has like Michael Myers on, um, Chucky, like all, all the uh, IP killers, basically. Gotcha. I've only just clocked up. I can give you a private show. Catch you around. His, his abs are pretty amazing. You, you, we have to stay focused, man. We do not like trick stuff. You gotta give him that. And the blow up bat, threatening but adorable, makes for an interesting silhouette, genius design. He's a psychopath, like just like the rest of them. You don't gotta give him anything, and we're not best friends just because we had a little talk about doing a little talking. It's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. <clears throat> I, I'm glad. I'm glad we're smashing the fourth wall every five seconds, though. Okay, now that that guy is gone and we've got some ground rules established that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and... Nope. Another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Ah, yes, Huntress. That makes sense. You two have gotten pretty cozy. Ah, we should get out of here. I know a place that's quiet and out of the way. No one will be able to hunt us. I mean, hear us there. Doesn't that sound in... Oh, doesn't that sound intriguing? But immediately a flood of worry uh, floods your brain... Should you pa uh, pack a picnic, bring it your swimsuit, a pocket knife? You decide to bring as much as you can. You may have to uh, make a run for it at some point, and you should be prepared. But of course, you washed up on the island with nothing but the clothes on your back, so you've got nothing to gather. Are you really ready for this? I mean, they call her the Huntress, not the Hungstress. Or the Hugstress. You look up at this towering goddess, trying to form a sentence when suddenly, before you can decide if you want to go off with her, the trapper interjects. <laughs> are you... N oh, no, sorry, wrong words. Eh, I demand that you reconsider. Why settle for a bunny with a hatchet when you can have everything you ever wanted? Tough choice. You weigh your options quickly. Because you can only go on a date today, uh, one date today, and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's also good to remember that these cold, all these cold-blooded killers. Oh, it's also good to remember that these are all cold-blooded killers. But you know what they say: when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, and then die a horrible, retching rifing death after drinking it because all the lemons were poisoned along the way. Um, sorry, this island has really got me tight uh, tilted. <laughs> so who will it be? Huntress. I will go with Huntress any day of the week. 
I... I gotta go with the Huntress. Oh, wee. <laughs> wee. Oh, her cabin! You and Huntress make your way to the seclu uh, secluded beach house. Your heart thrums in your chest. Don't look it up. Thrums is a real word, I swear. Are these nerves of excitement or terror? Is it fun? Isn't it fun to mix the sexy and the horrifying? Huntress is quiet as a mouse as she guides you through the island forest. You struggle to keep up with her. She moves like a jungle cat, all muscle and silent leaps across thorny brush. What? She halts suddenly as you cra and you crash into her. Having been desperately trying to keep up, you follow her gaze and follow uh, and realize that you've uh, you've arrived a cabin in the woods. Obligatory, obligatory, obligatory <laughs> in nearly all horror films and stories, and you've come here willingly with a fearsome killer. Great job. The cabin is cozy, but something seems off about it. You can't quite put your finger on what it is. Huntra stares at you through her bunny mask, cocking her head to the side as if trying to gauge your reaction to her hideaway. My die, but game is game. Are you going to invite me inside? Why do you need an invitation? Are you a vampire? <laughs> no? Oh. Is it just me, or did Huntress seem a little disappointed? Didn't peg her for a lover of the fang. But hey, I don't judge. Come on. Oh, come in. Let's in let's go inside. Uh, let's explore. God damn it. I, I mixed, I'm messing up my words. She's making me feel nervous. She's making me feel real nervous. You follow her inside. It's creepy, rickety, and definitely not up to code. But it has a certain homey charm. You're quite the decorator. She blushes, indeed she is. A chandelier made of bones hangs delicately from the fire ceiling. And a collection of uh, trinkets lines the mantle. Something tells you that the pool who once... Oh, what? What did I say the pool? Something tells you that... Uh, the people who once owned these things are not of this moral, uh, mortal coil anymore. Could you be Huntress's next victim? The thought gives you a wicked thrill. Hey, she's looking at you again. What do you think of my collection? I'm more of a minimalist. I've always considered myself more of a minimalist. Clutter makes me anxious. Plus, I feel like if I knew I was having company over, I'd tidy up a bit. Huntress seems embarrassed. You've called her out on her messiness. She's sort of insecure about that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just saying that I'm more of a minimalist myself. What? Somehow, someone who seems like they've got it all together can't have something, uh, can't have some insecurities. Well, they can. Let's just move on. But try to be a little bit more supportive. You're fumbling it, bro. Okay, I need to I need to lock in. I need to lock in. I can't wait to go treasure hunting with you. We could find so many more goodies on the island. But first, what do you think of the other killers on, on this island? I mean, Trickster is pretty out there, but everyone else seems like they're having interesting bat stories or whatnot. Lock in for the bun bunda. A little gossip, huh? What are you playing at, Pine? Huntress considers this for a beat. She seems to have two modes, thoughtful and explosive. You hope to never be in the splash zone when the explosive part emerges. Why? Are you jealous? Before you can answer, the house begins to shake. Huntress loses her balance on the thermite-infested floor and falls into your arms. You are not mad about it. But before you have time to enjoy talking, uh, taking this moment in, 
No. No, I'm getting cock blocked again. Oh no, it's an attack. A horde of killer uh, crabs invade through the crevices in the poorly constructed cabin. They race at you and Huntress in swarms, clacking their razor sharp claws at you. You must act quickly. What will you do? Shield Huntress. Shield Huntress. You step in front of Huntress, prepare to use your body to shield her from the onslaught of uh, crabbage. I'll save you, Huntress. Oof. Huntress can take care of herself. It's sort of a whole thing. I haven't been... Uh, haven't you been paying attention? God damn it, I'm fumbling. Hey, save some fun for me. Huntress is immediately between you and the crabs, hip-checking you out of the way, uh, splitting open a crab shell after crab uh, shell, like your uncle at an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Huntress sits down on the wicker couch and begins cleaning the, uh, the guts off her hatchet. It's an obligatory... Obligatory? Obligatory scene for every killer. You're just happy to not be the source of which she's wiping off. Looks like we're having crap for dinner. She doesn't smile at your joke. She has that ponderous look on her face again. You join her on the couch. Man, sometimes those near-death experiences really get me thinking about what I want in life. I think I'd really like to start a family one day. How about you? Of course. Of course, I love kids. Would love to be a parent one day. Huntress smiles. I loved my dear mother so much. I can't wait to have that sort of special relationship with my daughter one day. Teach her everything I know. Mr. wants eight kids. I didn't forget. <laughs> And I won't be killed by some horrible elk. What were you like as a kid? You try to imagine this gi uh, giantess as a meek child in a puffer coat wandering about the forest. Huntress chuckles, her laugh quite, uh, quite cute, quite soft. I was so innocent. We hunted to survive, then went back to the cottage, and a mo mother would tell me stories, and we'd drink tea, and imagine a life far away from the woods, somewhere like this. I suppose I fell you uh, tired, hold up. <laughs> I suppose I finally achieved what she always wanted from me, but since coming here, something feels off. It feels uh, beautiful and warm and everyone is so attractive like first traps galore. <laughs> but don't get the wrong feeling that some- uh, But don't you get the, the feeling that something is coming for us? Oh no, she's onto you. But onto you about what? Swirling memories rush through her head. Nightmares, visions of a dark cloud. Claudette and Dwight vacate. A uh, vacant stares that- a lie? Some sort of hypnosis. Quick, validate her theory and try and try and push it off. Uh, yeah, I totally get the idea. I think you're really onto something. What do you know? How long have you been? Uh, how long have you all been here? Do you remember anything at all about why we might be here? I've been having those dr these dreams, seeing things. I think we were all serving some greater purpose here. Huntress reveals a strange object that she stole uh, from near the stage where, where the trickster performs. It has some strange symbol on it. Oh, something. Truthfully, it doesn't seem that strange to you. It's just a glass bottle. However, the label is interesting. She hands it over to you, but before she can explain her theory, Claudette and Dwight Burst it, uh, burst in on you and interrupt. Damn it, can they stop cock blocking me? Ah, uh, we have a dramatic announcement. But it needs to happen back at the beach. You arrive at the beach and realize you were set up. There's no big announcement after all. What we have here is a good old fashioned rivalry. It's true. Exactly like. Uh, that voice we cannot hear and certainly 
uh, reinforce it, uh, reverse referencing says. God damn it. We were forced to interrupt your lovely date by another killer. They are here and ready to make an offer of love you won't be able to deny. Oh no, trap up. Trapper emerges from the water. Is he in slow motion? He's pure thirst. He's Paul Newman on horseback. He's Danzel of the cover, uh, uh, cover of GQ. Manly manliness brought to life. Also, was he holding his breath there this entire time? Waiting for his cue? That's commitment to a bit if I've ever seen it. Eh, heard you spent the day in a quaint cottage. Oh, that's cute. How about a quaint mansion? Or better yet, how about one on each uh, continent? Yeah, I'm including Antarctica. I'm really, really rich. Think of how cozy we can get in the snowy 10 bedroom chateau. One of those pools that is half indoor, half outdoor. That's nicer and warm throughout. The way that uh, you can kill a mama polar bear from the outside while watching her curb. Oh, her cubs cry over her body from the inside. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, Trapper is the real deal. And by real, I do mean really. And by deal, I mean evil. Plus, you really want to hunt for your food for the rest of your life. With me, you get both ways. Savagery and someone to clean af up after you. Sounds nice, eh? Ugh, ah, as if. That life isn't for me, bro. <laughs> I'm very impressed you can speak with implied quotation marks. Very cool. This guy is a total douche nozzle. Try hard much? He's like he's like the turn off the Century uh, Pacific Northwest. God damn it! Version of Wall of a Wall Street bro. Trust me, it tracks. Patrick Bateman with a huge chip on his shoulder. You wouldn't go with him uh, if he were brandishing a cleaver at you. Oh shit, he is. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks, bro. Flirting with others, I see. I'll remember that. Hey, you, you're telling me uh, if I have a chance to date one of the killers, you're telling me I don't go for it? In what mad world are you living in? Hell yeah, I go for this. Thanks, but no thanks, bro. I'm into a quieter lifestyle. I relish my independence and don't need someone to wipe my butt for me. You run back to the huge arms of the huntress. She hugs you tight, so tight you think you feel the life leave your body for just a moment, but it hurts so good. Eh, hey, you know what? I'm impressed that you stood up to me. I appreciate someone giving me their total honest opinion, even if that opinion makes me want to carve out your liver. And the butt wiping comment that's not what I meant by clean up after you. But I'm hiring someone to do it that for me the moment I get home. Trapper leaves and you turn to Huntress, walking in slow motion back into the water. It's pretty weird. He just he gotta stay in there all night. Shall we continue our date? I'm making smooth moves. Huntress leads you back to her cabin. You thought you'd remember the way, but it's like the forest has completely changed. Nothing is familiar. Better not get lost out there. Uh, can you believe that guy? Classic trapper. Pulling a move like that. I'm so glad you chose me though. I don't think we've explored all there is between us yet. She winks at a bunny mask eye and scoops you onto her back. Huntress runs through the woods with you, piggyback riding her. The wind ruffles your hair. Animals clear a path for the mighty woods woman as she races by like 
the lead from that famous teen vampire drama in what in that one scene where he calls her a spider monkey. <laughs> they they're referring to Twilight. Huntress doesn't call you that. Wee! <laughs> Eventually, she gently lowers you onto the ground, and you take in your surroundings a wooded clearing in the forest. Twilight reference. Huntress prances about like a deer in a meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They think they're so cute and sly, but I see right through them. They're just assholes. Great with hot sauce. Hold on, what have you got against foxes? Have you watched Twilight? I've, I've, I haven't watched Twilight, but I've seen scenes from Twilight, so I know they were referring to it. I think they were referring to it. Huntress hers rustling. Uh, hers rustling and darts off to find its source. Crouching down like a low animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which, why did you come from? Uh, which... Which way did you come from again? No idea. Your sense of direction is all off. A mellifluous voices floats through the air, landing upon your ears like syrupy honey. Come find me. Oh, oh yeah, it's the minigame. It's the minigame. Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I haven't got this. Not bad. Oh, it's so hard, man. It goes so fast. Why does it go so fast? I can't do it. It goes too fast. Darn it. That was so fun. That is so boring. You're so good at hiding. I'm having a real blast. Thanks. They say it takes 10 hour, 10,000 hours of practice to get good at something. Hey, they do say that. Um, hold on. Okay, cool. Uh, that was fun, huh? I keep trying to just relax and have a good time, but that's uh, really hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. Like what? Like what? Sometimes I find young girls in the woods, little perfect angels that need my protection, but if I turn my back for a moment, they wind up dying. That got dark, but you feel like the Huntress wouldn't admit this to just anyone. Oh look, Claudette and Dwight are back. Oh no, no. Why is the music gotten so loud, by the way? Hold on. Is it me or is the music like kind of loud? Or is it or is it perfect as it is? Also, why is it Western like why is it like a Western type style of music? I think it's a little loud. Okay, let me turn this down then. It was kind of loud. I don't know why it got so loud all of a sudden, and then it was kind of like Western, which kind of just didn't match uh, ma match the style. Oh, I accidentally clicked. Uh, yeah, no one is manipulating us at this time. It's just time for dinner. Come get some grub. Ooh. Grub, grub, grub. I better... Uh... What a fun day you've been having. I can see it written all over your face. You're shining. And that's not just the remaining anxious sweat from spending an afternoon courting a psycho killer. No, no. You are really... Feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry. I'll keep your dirty little secrets. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? <laughs> but enough gentle ribbing. It's time to get back to business. All the um, appetizing singles have arrived for dinner, including Trickster. Oh, no, not Trickster, man. We must stay focused. Remember the mission. Rafe is here, too. We're not going to do the gag where the we cram them all onto the screen at the same time again. So just believe me, they're all here and they're just as sexy as and demented as you remember them. 
With your love on the line, everyone is being very careful not to offend you by saying the wrong thing. Congrats, by the way, on getting this far. I'm as surprised as you are um, that these four are failing the, uh, for you, uh, falling for you. No, not because you're of your personality, but because you just met them yesterday. However, since Spirit seems like the biggest long shot to end up on holding onto your heart, she throws caution to the wind and speaks up. It's a pretty small consolation prize for being the least loved killer on Murderer's Island. But hey, letting them have this one moment in the spotlight is the least we can do, and heaven knows they won't be doing any better than that. Wait, really? Spirit is the least loved killer on the island? I would have thought it would have been Trapper, because I've actually given some time to Spirit. I've given some time to Wraith and Huntress, but Trapper, I've not bothered with him, like, at all. So how is how is Spirit ended up on my on like last on the list? Um, clearly I need to do a little bit more of uh to be a part of this group, or I'll be alone forever. However, I don't eat, and I like being alone, so I take that all back. I don't care what this group has for dinner, as long as we start with shrimp cocktail. I saw a movie once where these girls turned shrimp cocktail into a haunted, synchronized dance, and I'm still working out how they did it. Eh, hey, you mean beetle? Pine stopped them from saying it. Beetle shrimp? The most rare and delicious type of shrimp? Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Why am I doing Chopper's voice to me? Uh, beetle shrimp? The most rare and delicious type of shrimp? Beetle shrimp? Is this some new species? Because I've hunted many beetle and many shrimp. And I've never heard of beetle shrimp. Of course you haven't. <laughs> like Spirit says, they've got hypnotic power. Anyone who sees them soon forgets. Also, something to do with dancing? Eh, I wasn't going to say anything that dumb. No, I was going to say a chow. Why did I turn into Lightning McQueen? <laughs> Excuse me, Pine. Now you were saying... Trapper. You've done all you can. I appreciate... I'm gonna have to narrate out, uh, us out of this somehow. Hold on. Are you afraid we might accidentally recite some spell or conjure a ghost? Because I hate to break it to you, but it's a bit late for that. And then... Uh, a giant... Osprey swooped down and dropped a severed head on the table, distracting everyone. Trapper! It. I've never seen this particular severed head before. What? This time I'm being honest. Sorry, not my finest work. Well, something had to be, uh, something had to be done. We've got to be careful about which cultural references we get mixed up in uh, with this. Dinner will be served shortly, with but certain powder brokers would like to throw uh, would like to know about your day. Would you like to share your day with the rest of the group? You've had an interesting day, that's for sure. But you will describe it to the others. Say too much or too little. And it could affect your standing with the group. Uh, okay, but don't just sit there and say nothing. Nothing is not an option. Tell of your brush with death. Jokes about having kids. Uh, joke about having kids because Huntress made some... Uh, Huntress came a little bit strong with the whole having kids thing over for dinner. Um, sure about... Uh, sure, but with family on the first date... Trapper laughs. Huntress can't understand why. Isn't it better to be up front? Oh no, I messed up! I messed up! I messed up! I didn't mean to mess up! Is that a bad thing? Isn't it better to be honest about what I want in life? Maybe there's something I don't understand about human social nuances. Oh no, I made a cry. I'm sorry. Did you bring that up to make fun of me? Really, your play was to humiliate the tall lady? The aggressive axe-wielding weirdo who lives alone in the woods in front of her colleagues? To each their own. 
Why and Claudette bring out dinner. Everyone eats in silence. No one trusts anyone now, and they are all very tired. Oh, wait. No, sorry. That's a dreary supernatural horror thriller set in Antarctica. Not a charming parody dating sim set in an undisclosed tropical paradise. Bon appetit! Uh, don't you mean Bon? No. Oh, wait, why did I- why did I make, a uh, Dwight sound like that? Uh, uh, no, almost everything we serve has a lot of bones in it. <laughs> Even the vegetables. Impossible, uh, impossible to avoid on this island. Everyone eats without speaking. Tensions are rising, both of the sexual and dr uh, deadly variety. When everyone finishes, Dwight and Claudette come back to clean up the table. They linger around you as they pick up your plate. Take your napkin and dust your crumbs off the table. What would uh, what would uh, uh, what would uh, you like to say to the servants? Thank them. Your top-notch service is much appreciated. Everyone, if you would please be so kind as to follow us to the fire pit, we greatly appreciate it. We've been told something big is going to happen, something that will change everything. Uh, uh, you can willingly or you can unwillingly or you can go unwillingly. You have no choice. Tough cookies. Eh, hey, did you have a choice on s how you said that, dweeb? Uh, yes, and I immediately regret how I did it. How I did. Ah, uh, good. Something needs to be changed around here. Fire is rebirth. Fire illuminates a soul. Fire. I hope the fire isn't too smoky. Smoke hurts my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. The fire, I mean. Not my eyes because of my childhood trauma involving fire. <laughs> and finally, everyone starts moving towards the fire pit, if only to get away from Rafe's complaining. Okay, here we go. You take a seat on a comfortable log, feeling the fire heat against your skin and wait for other killers to take their places, wondering who will want to tell the story this time. Will, narra uh, will narrator tell a story? I bet they've all got a stunningly creative mind. Hey, you think, are they allowed to simply place thoughts in my mind like this? Doesn't seem fair. Everyone makes their way in, but something unexpected happens. Nothing, nothing happens. Something almost always seems to be happening here, so nothing is probably not a great sign. Hey, you said they weren't all going to be put on screen. Oh, cool, and now everyone is looking at you. So, you know, do something. Should I pick someone to start a story, or we could play charades? Um, well, we were actually thinking, why don't you tell us a story? Wraith points his spine, skull, staff, finger magic at you. You duck out of the, its way. Who knows what that thing can do? Probably shoot lasers. Imagine Wraith gets a buff in Dead by Daylight where he can shoot lasers. That'd be so funny. But also incredibly OP. Uh, hey, try not to bore us. We're just very interested in you. Don't speak for me, Huntress. Now you can't tell if you're warm from the fire or it's your nerves heating up i know that the fire is right here but maybe if we stop talking about it all the time we can start to pretend it's not here and doesn't you know threaten to burn us alive he's not supposed to hear me get out of here rafe pine was about to make an important decision about telling a story or not fine i'll tell a story sure i'm game to tell a story <laughs> I hope it's a mystery. Oh, not this guy. Not this guy, please. Uh, I, okay, so what type of story would do you want to tell? Romance, adventure, action? Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe adventure. All right. Uh, you like your Dwayne The Rock Johnson movies? How about some adventure? <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. It's not my favorite, but I respect your choice and will nod politely. Uh, you don't have to say that, Rafe. Just nod politely. 
Okay, ready. Here goes. I really like to go fishing. Solid hobby. Great foundation for a story, for sure. You pause. Everyone is waiting with bated breath. No pun intended. Uh, no, you were kidding. Yeah, that's all. Oh, wait, that's it? Not much of a story. Barely even a, no a, barely even a thought. My pun was better than, a, than this, that story. Um, you sure that's all you have to say? No, you were kidding. No, I was just kidding. So what type of story do you want to tell? Personal. I'll get a little bit personal now if that's okay. Those types of story, those types of tales are the best. And often the most sad. It's a bit of a love story. It is about two strong hunters who met when they both tried to bludgeonly the same Willy Wolverine. What? <laughs> Are about a deranged killer who makes the only woman who ever believed in him witness a display of shocking violence. Trickster, what is wrong with you, bud? Not quite. It's about my parents. They met at a party in college. He was hosting. She'd been dragged there by some friends. Oh? They couldn't have been more different, and yet, as the night went on, they were drawn to each other. She made fun of his taste in music, and he take, uh, took an interest in her major, woman's studies. Uh, they were married within two months. Two months? A bit soon to know if you could trust somebody, don't you think? It's so sweet. Exactly. I learned a lot about love from them. If you know, you know. Some people don't need years to get acquainted with someone. Love could spark from the uh, from a look across a campfire. Now you've got their attention. Each killer is furiously attempting to catch your eye from across the fire pit. It's quite alarming, actually. Except for, for the trickster, who has headphones in and is loudly uh, playing his own music to drown you out. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, that was not a very good story. I don't mean to insult you, but it was actually quite bad. Sorry, but this narrator keeps it real. We can't just end the hit there. So who else would like to hear a story for tonight? Um, you look for you look from killer to killer, trying to decide who might be the most entertaining. We are listening to Huntress, but I kind of want to know if she has more to tell. Huntress, you seem raring to go. Let's hear from you. Sure thing. My neck of the woods isn't wanting uh for horrifying mythology. Mythology. Mother once told me a story of a young woman, a young man even. Uh, was traveling back home after the war. Which war? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I just wanted some backstory details. Just paint the picture. Eh, I'll paint you a picture if you want. The man was lost and running out of food rations. He stopped to rest for the night underneath a ma majestic birch tree. That's when he saw the woman naked. Skin glistening in the twilight glow. <laughs> Hot, I'm invested. They sang a hunting melody as they made their way downhill towards the inviting lake. Enchanting by the mu enchanted by the music, the young man followed the parade of a beautiful woman until they stopped in a clearing next to the water. They turned to him and smiled. One woman with long red hair stepped forward and reached for their hand. The other began to play music, flutes, lutes, tambourines, tambourines. The melody was intoxicating. The man's feet began to move uh, beneath him. He was dancing, moved by the magical music of, of these mysterious women. Twilight darkened into night and the men grew weary. And when he tried uh, to still in his moving... Uh, God damn it, I can't read! <laughs> but when he tried to still his moving feet, he found that he could not help. I cannot stop dancing, he cried to the nearest woman. 
a slender woman with green hair. She drew him to hit. Oh, she drew near hit to him. He saw her features distort into something horrific. She was bloated, an eye hanging from one socket, skin the color of algae. A Rosalke, Rosalka, her true self. You'll never stop dancing, she screeched at him. My sisters and I were drowned in this lake by men of your regiment. Consider this your punishment. The man cried out, but it wasn't me. Someone must pay. A Rosalka said her voice filled with briny malice. And so the man danced and danced until his, bro uh, until his bones broke and his heart gave out the dance of death. A silent beat as everyone takes in this macabre ending. Macabre ending. But it's not all bad. Rosa Cal's... Ro Rosa Cal's... I don't know. I uh, also fertility, fertility, fertility <laughs> goddesses. If a lady had stumbled across them, she would have been blessed with a, fra a fruitful womb and probably some candy for the road. God, this is going on forever, isn't it? Like, she just loves to yap. Finally, we're moving on. How was story time? A lot of people uh like to take pot shots at sequels but i think everyone every good story deserves a follow-up uh when you think it's the end the sequel it's m almost never as rewarding as the original that's why i'm much more of a fan of an episodic style of storytelling do i do i just skip through this do i just skip it's very long very long i feel like the game should have ended by now I have been streaming for over two hours. Uh, knowing it's a serious takes on a, a, a lot of pressure off any individual installment and build a greater sense of community between audience and creator. Tell me, Pine, if you could delete any sequel from existence, what would it be? Don't answer that. We actually, we don't actually care. We're just here to make sure that we seamlessly move on to the next segment of the evening. God forbid my small talk get in the way of my of a, a romantic twilight moment. Dwight, I'm going to need you to shut your <laughs> yap trap. You know that we need to get back to that thing we were doing uh, whenever we're not on screen. Oh, the suspicious thing they're doing whenever they're not on screen, you mean? Okay, okay. You have fun tonight and try not to wink wing end up dead. Why did you say the words wink wink out loud? And what kind of double entendre are you getting at with that end up dead thing? Uh, Dwight is physically incapable of winking, not since uh, the accident. And you do know that all of these people are uh, this. Hold on. Uh, despicable criminals with double digit kill counts right well except the spirit she is really she really doesn't belong here she's strictly a victim not a perpetrator no wonder she's pissed it did i hear somebody trash talk in the spirit deal me in what do you say to we take this talk to the hot tub so i can soak this bod while i roast that ghost with some killer hot takes. Please, enough talk of burns. Things are things that are lit are getting blazed. It's enough that these activities have to be set next to the literal fire. Uh, must I be surrounded by figurative flames as well? What if we turned and ran as far away from this place as we could? Just you and me. On those spiny legs, you'd probably tire before you got that too far. If it's running away to some place more secluded, Piney's after, 
They should be obviously join. They should obviously join me. Have you seen these legs? Pure power. Not that my walk speed really reflects my giant stature. But that's because I choose to move slowly for stealthy reasons. It's my own choice and it's completely logical. Oh, uh, which is... Why is everyone so obsessed with comparing themselves to each other and creating drama? I'm so all over... I'm so over all that. Don't you get it? Society wants to trick you into fighting with each other so that corporations can swoop in and sell you f your f uh, sell you fake solutions to all your fabricated problems. I'll be sitting in the shade and drinking something locally sourced while tumbling through a public domain novella printed. Oh my god, she yaps so much, bro. It it's like she's actively trying to be unappealing as possible does it really turn anyone else or just me despite trapper's insatiable insatiable appetite it seems his attention along with the attention of everyone else is still on you for this moment if you could i don't know just pick one of us maybe we could all move on with our lives or um you know some special projects we might have going you heard him. Who will it be? Who will you head off with an evening of activity? I'm just saying, you may not get a ton of chances today around this or like this before your time on Murderous Island comes to a close. And no, I'm not satisfied with that name either, but this streaming reality TV dating sim boom happening is pretty much all that was taken. Dexter is now watching the stream. I'm glad. I'm glad Dexter is now interested. Which killer will you pick? And yes, we're back to excluding Trickster because, ugh, that guy. I know, right? Nobody likes Trickster. Huntress, obviously. Huntress. You know, I had a feeling you'd pick me. You've got a good taste. And I don't just say that because I'm considering eating you. Huntress licks her lips as as she eyes you up and down. You've never felt a literal piece of me this much in your lifetime before. Um, what have you gotten yourself into? To be honest, if I had to be eaten by anyone, Huntress would be the one. Let's go over to the bar. I'm going to make uh, you into something special. You and Huntress whisk your selves over away to the bar and when you arrive you find an arrangement of arts and crafts supplies and are those taxidermy tools cool 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 are you freaking out i'm freaking out you wonder what's going through huntress's head though she's bubbly and enthusiastic you're always terrified she might snap i am a little bit terrified she might snap to be honest something on your mind she smiles. Drink this. Ah! <laughs> Huntress hands you a seemingly normal tropical cocktail. If uh, if one were to drug you in to some sort of state in which you could be operated on, these flavored would these flavors would certainly hide the poison. You look around and consider what else there is to l live. Uh, live for besides becoming Huntress's little toy and the conclusion is bombs away you pound the drink it's quite nice I've been thinking about making you a present a mask would you be into that yeah of course I've always admired yours what would you like uh, and it can't be a dog even though I know you like them there was this ex. They were really into Dobermans. Like two into them. It's a long story. Rabbit mask, angler fish mask, fluffy cat mask. Uh, I guess we could be matching with our rabbit masks. A rabbit mask. One just like yours, please. Well, that's not very creative, is it? Hey, we were gonna, we were gonna be, we were gonna be uh, twinning. What the hell? Huntress is annoyed, but then her face lights up. 
Oh, wait. Is this brilliant? We can use this as a tactical advantage. Like, there's two of us. We can attack from both sides. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, I know what I'm going to be working on tonight. All alone. In my skimpy pajamas. Huntress winks at you. Should we just, like, get out of here? This deserves a celebration, okay. Should we just, like, get out of here? These drinks are making me pretty sleepy. Should we just, like, get out of here? Maybe go get directly into your bed? Ah! Oh, no! That's not how tonight goes. I mean, it's not how it's supposed to go. Uh, not yet at least. Uh, you kooky kids. Soon. Hun Huntress, you've got lots of hobbies. Why don't you share something with us that you're passionate about? Oh my god, can I stop cock blocking, please? Something less deadly than throwing axes or chasing survivors. Maybe just a fart? Uh, making more masks? Oh, wait, making matching gloves? <laughs> no, you little joker. I'm thinking of a different type of making. Making our victims die fast, medium, or slow deaths, depending on the mood we're in. It's another round to be careful. What we, what you wish for on Murderer's Island. Dwight, I need your help. Um, uh, doing something in a different place entirely. Mm, you read my mind. Meet you there. I'm talking about mycolo mycology. You know, mushrooms. I picked a lot of them. And I'm very familiar with which ones make for a great soup base. Which ones make you super dead? I'll show you two mushrooms. You point at the one that's safe to eat. Okay, that sounds easy though enough. Oh, okay. So, which one is a nice mushroom? Which one's safe, not safe to eat? See, now the obvious option would be that that one is not safe to eat. However, it could be a trick question and this one could actually be the good one. While the, the one that looks good could actually be the dangerous one. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one, this one here. Correct. It's called a black trumpet and a boop, boo, do. It's delish. Next up, this is, well, this one is very easy. I'm sure you'll nail it. Point out, a uh, point at the one that won't result in almost instant death if you eat it. Oh, a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky. Look at Point out the one that won't result in almost instant death. Hmm. This one. Correct! Hey, that's a chanterelle. It sounds fancy and it tastes fancy too. It's just like a certain someone I know, I bet. Nom nom nom. Final question, which will make you jump for joy and which will make you vomit until you die? Well, obviously the green one, right? The one, that, that, that one definitely makes you, that one definitely makes you vomit, right? That, that, yeah, yeah. Correct. That's a green crackling rusula. Sure, it might look moldy, but I guess you shouldn't judge a mushroom by its gross green cap. Not everything is exactly as it appears at first glance. That was fun, right? I like flexing a little more than just my biceps for you. All right, let's see here. Tabulating your answers now and perfect, perfect score. That knowledge is gonna come in handy if we're stranded here on this island for much longer. Huntress claps her hands giddily. I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are all very alluring. Alluring in their own way. I mean, a lot that you spend time with a forest bumpkin such as myself. Her brain has so many wrinkles. You're not bumpkin. I mean, I was sort of forced to. They are hot, aren't they? You're not bumpkin. 
You're a strong, independent woman. Don't demean yourself. Huntress leaps on you, knife to your throat. I demean myself if I want to. She's angry, but also turned on. This is pretty hot. Oh my god. Stop Cla I swear, Dwight and Claudette, you're starting to ally solo queue teammates. We're here. Claudette and Dwight are gathering everyone together on the beach. Typical. Oh my god, let me just go to bed with Huntress, please. That's all I ask for. Uh, exactly. What the voice said. I'm telling you, and I'm being honest, that you're the only one who can hear me. The Yang's all together again on the volleyball court where it all started. Spent two hours trying to fuck the Huntress. Exactly, and I keep, I keep getting cock blocks. It's not fair. All I want is to go on one date that's uninterrupted by something. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the, si on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. I mean, it, it kind of was only yesterday, but okay. That's because it was. Oh, feels like I've been here a lot longer than actual than uh, than that actually. It's so late that the sun is already beginning to rise. Better get this over with quickly so that I, I mean you, can get some beauty rest. I do not recommend the eternal dam damnation, damnation of perpetual narrator dewardum. You mean yapping like you're doing? Good, since you've really used your time well since then. Really getting to know the gang, the brain, the mogul, the basket case, the psychotic bunny girl. You know the four types of people. Anyway, everyone is gathered on the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream day and see who Pine chooses. Who's ready for round robin? How round are we talking? Yappa yappa yap. No, not to eat, Huntress. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you about... Uh, to tell you all about the dream date they plan for you tomorrow. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention, right? Almost like the order doesn't matter. Spirit, why don't you go first, get this over with, and then get back to your ready mode. Can we just skip and get straight to the Huntress? I'm just going to skip and get straight to the Huntress. No, nope, sorry. Sorry. My dream is the Huntress. My dream is the Huntress. Get out of my way. I want to be with the big bunny girl. Give me Huntress. Give me Huntress. Yep, that's what I mean. Then, boy, oh, boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guess you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, it's primal stuff. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to start preparing because it's clear already that you're going to pick me. It is clear. It is clear. Confident, mysterious. I like it. And time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about these options so you're ready to choose in the morning. Now, uh, now... Go dream about these swoony worthy options so that you're ready to make the choice come dawn. Have a swell night. Um, did you two forget to mention something? Uh, oh gosh, how could we forget? Before you run off to slumber peacefully, uh, there's one more thing to do. No reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without singling a uh, singling. At one of our contestants who is already teething on edge of a psychological break and giving them a little push. Hold up. This has been a survival dating com competition parody this entire time and I'm only just finding out about this? Come on, the signs were there. <clears throat> you didn't need to read them. <coughs> Welcome to Murderer's Island. It's now time to eliminate one of the killers. Oof. It's like butchering, but it hurts even worse. You can't kill a killer, but you can break their heart. Do you dare to even try? You mean, that's right. Tomorrow, one of these sexy slices will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it going to be? But why? Uh, because it's dramatic. 
Because it's... Oh, because it's surprising. Because it's a classic reversal of fate. And uh, it will hurt someone's feelings, someone dangerous. What's it going to be, champ? What's your thought process here? Trapper seems like he's might throttle you in your sleep to eliminate you. Oh, <clears throat> to eliminate him. That being said, at least you'd see him coming. Spirit could be anywhere. She floats and I hear she can disappear. Hard to track. Eek. If you get rid of Rafe, he might cry. And although I totally support normalizing men crying and being vulnerable, <laughs> it just seems like he might be an ugly cryer. Huntress? She might pretend to be okay with it, but then she'll start seeing uh but then you'll start seeing her behind every tree. What I'm trying to say is, I don't envy you, boss. So which psychopath are you eliminating? And we all know it's going to be Trapper. Come on now. That was very simple. This was very simple. Trapper, you scared the living shit out of me. You are eliminated. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, though, I don't care. You suck. But not in a good way. You bore me. You personality free maggot. It wouldn't be even fun to be... It wouldn't even be fun to kill you. Which I was totally going to do tomorrow, the first chance I got. So really, this is a win-win for ball for us. Still might kill you, though. Out of principle for eliminating me. Sleep with both eyes open and have fun on your date tomorrow. Ah, uh, now that you've broken the heart of someone heartless, you should probably get some shut-eye. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you've left behind. Ah... Uh, because, to, because, of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They might not get to, uh, get to go home with Pine when this is all over, but they'll never sleep again, alone again. That's right. We're sending our eliminated player home with... Uh... <laughs> oh, that is amazing. A trickster body pillow. Claudette approved. Uh, I hope you sleep well tonight, Pine. You're my hero for what you've accomplished. Wow, okay, that's a bit. Hmm. Anywho, uh, how can you sleep tonight knowing what you've done? No, not because of the guilt. I mean, knowing that there's a legit homicide maniac who hates you so close by. <clears throat> how can you sleep tonight knowing what you'll do tomorrow? I don't know how you'll do it, but you better go before Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep themselves. You know these two schedule, schedule, schedule. Wow, what a crazy way to end the day. An elimination. I didn't even think that this was that kind of game. Let's check in with everyone else, um, especially with our loser. Everyone deserves to send off. Well... We'll see how things go tomorrow. I suppose I'm not expecting anything. I tend to shut my mind off during hard times. I know I seem all excited and, uh, and devil may care. But the truth is, I'm really pessimist at, at heart. That tends to happen when your mother is skewered by an elk when you were young. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? Wild guess. <laughs> it's also the only thing you talk about. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I think I saw a raccoon over in that tree and I'm feeling peckish. I don't really know what's happening here. I'm honestly having, haven't really been paying attention. Oh, Pine, sorry, I forgot. I'm focusing on other things, more important things. One way or another, I won't be here for much longer. Eh, I don't handle rejection well. At least I don't think I do. No one has ever been so dumb enough to reject me before. Yeah, the more I think about it, the angrier I'm getting. And as a giant rage monster, so everyone in this room should be scared right now. Turn off the camera. Uh, did I think there was a chance I might get eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? Not even a little. Does the volume of words I spend talking about how much I don't care about things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those uh, around me? Nah. 
<laughs> what? No, you're not even a part of this. You don't get a confessional. Ah, uh, it's cool, man. I'm not part of anything. You feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. This whole thing is pretty cute, though. Charmingly low budget. Old school marketing vibes. Not gonna lie. Kind of wish I wasn't so busy right now. I'd definitely be with a reality show style dating sim competition with survival limits. Uh, uh, elements even. But I've got my own new album upcoming tour. Finalizing the new sneaker line. Producing a limited time series of my life. Starting a new social media NFT crypto app. And doing these private gigs over an, I uh, over an IP island. My dudes, you've got to come and check it out. IP Island, it's dope. It's where the real killers are hanging out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers, take a hike. Uh. <laughs> we must stay focused, boys. We do not like Trickster. I'm not going to tell everyone that Trickster said that about them. Don't worry. I'm talking about my favorite established characters from all over pop culture, uh, culture that, oh my god. They can't be seen on this island, hell, you probably can't even mention them like ghost for- Don't you say it. Look, we got- we get it. You're very popular and in demand. But we have a game to get back to and I don't want to get sued. Ghostface? He said it! He said it! He said it! I will- I won't lie, if Ghostface was an option, Ghostface would have been top of the list for dating. Come on. Whatever, I don't even care. I'm the trickster. See you around, Pine. You too, narrator. Um, I have a name, you know. You do? Yes? Seriously? They do not pay me enough to deal with you people. Is it my turn? What? No, no, it's not your turn. You're sentient war. How are you even sitting in that chair? What's a chair? Wait, why am I doing that voice? Uh, it's the thing you're getting all wet. Now it's gonna smell like mild dew. Okay, rude. Fine, let's just get this over with. It's your turn, Ocean. Do your check-in. Check-in? I was just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom are you serious it's down the hall to your left okay it's okay never mind never mind what does that mean oh not you two this wasn't meant to be a confessional time for literally every character in the game it's okay we don't have to confess anything we've been working our asses off for two days straight and wanted to sit down somewhere uh this this chair is wet yeah, I think the ocean just peed on it. How is that supposed to... You know what? I don't care. You two are looking pretty pleased with yourselves. Uh, I I've got something to confess. Oh, great. What's it going to be? You ate glue in the second grade. You cheated on your algebra test once. Watching Trapper get eliminated was the first time in this unending spiral staircase of pain that it that is my life that I felt any modicum of joy every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare this place is Sunday these sweet sugary drinks it sounds fun for a long weekend but for an eternity the unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves ah, yeah 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 you 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 two get back to what you were doing <clears throat> Anyway, back to what I was doing. Oh well, what are you gonna do? You let the camera roll long enough, someone is behind- uh, someone is bound to say something crazy. Anyway, it seems like everyone's had their shot to annoy me tonight, so hit the hay, get some rest. Finally! Okay, we're awake. Let's go on our date with the Huntress, please. Uh, you pull to the beach, Isaiah, and splash water on your face to White and Claudette approach you. Is that look on their faces excitement, terror? You know, as your stomach flutters with butterflies, someone's in love. Oh, you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. It has happened before, but it's probably the love thing. It's time. Claudette gestures over to the beach 
where the killers all stand flanked by tiki torches. It's a scene very re reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate to watch with your ex. Hold on, do I remember my ex? Okay, okay, let's let's just skip. Let's just skip. I wanna get to the I wanna get to Huntress. 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 I want to get to Huntress. Show me Huntress. You make your way over to the row of hotties, Claudette and Dwight stand off to the side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite the 48 hours, but there are clearly sparks in the air, and I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for our newcomer to confess our love. Wait, wait, I have a drum roll for this. No, you don't. But who cares, Pine? Who do you choose to solo for, for your solo date? Uh, 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 uh. Skip, I choose, I choose, I choose, I choose Huntress. Aya, I choose Huntress. Uh, skip, skip, Huntress. You turn to Huntress. She's never looked more appealing. A craft and dress ruffles behind her in the light morning breeze. A seagull lands on her shoulder like she's a beachy cartoon princess. She snaps the seagull's <laughs> neck and stuffs it somewhere under her flowery dress, probably to save for lunch. She can't help but hunt. Huntress, I, cho I choose you. I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we think a future is possible for our love. Me? Really? Ah, I give you love! <laughs> uh, okay, she's ready for love. Okay, moving on. Let's get to the date, please. Let's get to the date. Dwight, Claudette, quit yapping. You guys have cock blocked me enough. Oh, we're on the yacht. Isn't this Trapper's yacht? Would Trapper not be, like, a gay society? Huntress eagerly leads you to the yacht to begin your romantic day together. You have to admit, warm, salty air on your skin, the sound of crashing waves, this is a pretty perfect morning just for you and Huntress. Hey, cuties. Ah, Roshan's here too. Did you know that I'm teeming with flesh-eating bacteria and dead bodies? The That pesky ocean always killing the vibe. You turn to Huntress. So you sure you're okay with the ocean here on the ocean? I know you don't like to be out in the open. Something about being here makes me feel safe. You both sit down at a beautifully set table on the deck of the boat. A wide spread of mouth-watering breakfast goodies are arranged in front of you. Do I actually have to eat breakfast? <sighs> Can we get you anything? Uh, you look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. And Trickster replaced all the island's dr uh, drama mean with party drugs, so... Wait, how did you get here? Weren't they just on the beach consoling the rejected killers? Are they more than two of them? Uh, you motion one of them over. We'll both take a screwdriver, hold the orange juice. Of course! Hey... Can you play this particular song for us? Set the mood. You uh, you hand Dwight a piece of uh, paper with a song written on it. You sure? Uh, sure, though. I doubt Trapper has it in his vinyl collection. Soon, the haunting melody of Huntress's mullet mother's lullaby streams through the yacht's expensive stereo system. The boat rocks as though the rhythm of the song... The eerie, mel melancholy mood is really quite romantic. Breakfast has been this intimate. Oh, breakfast has never been this intimate. You reach out to touch Huntress's hand when suddenly a loud bellow scares you. You knock over your freshly poured flute of straight vodka onto the pristine deck. It's Trapper. He's screaming at us from the uh, beach. Look how tiny he looks from all the way out there. Huntress squishes his head between her fingers like a child and giggles. Damn you, damn you both. 
need the chairs. You're sitting on are worth more than your lives. Get back here. Uh, he is not wrong. Hey, Claudette, take out, take us out, father. Hi, Captain. Can she drive a boat? Guess we'll find out. Alone again. Nothing but the crew of a seagull and the ominous shadow of a creature lurking beneath the waves. I have something for you. For me? Huntress reveals a package wrapped in a blooded apron. You clap your hands like a kid on their birthday. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. I made that, um, I made that mask for you. I almost forgot. But I bet you didn't. This is the whole reason you pursued the Huntress. I bet definitely you get the mask of your own. No other reason. Here you go. Ah, uh, uh, it's my own mask. It's perfect. You put it on, it fits your face like a face glove. <laughs> uh, you gaze at the Huntress through the eyes of the mask. A swell of emotion surges through you. One has become two rabbits be multiplying. Oh, one has become two rabbits be multiplying even in mask form. Let's go back to my place. She downs her screwdriver. Or downs her screwdriver. The tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You'd could cut it with a hatchet. <laughs> give me give me uh give me a break. It's day three of killer jokes. A narrator only has so much mojo. Huntress sits you down as a cluttered uh as at the cluttered table in the kitchen. You notice the blood stains that have crept into every nook and cranny of the wooden planks. What poor creature died on the table did they suffer? What do you care if they suffered? Get back in the ocean, ocean. Stop backseat ominous and narrating. Stay here. Don't move a muscle or I'll hear it. I can hear any mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift of a it's gift and a curse. I'll be right back. Ah, alone in the cabin. What to do, what to do. Uh Teddy up. I feel like she does I feel like she won't like either of these. But I guess tidy up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody, do your share. You have to expect a flock of adorable birds and cute little mice to come sprinting in and help you, but they don't because this isn't some fantasy. This is gritty. This is real. Plus, I'm pretty sure she kills all the adorable, all the adorable birds and cute little mice. So you pour, uh, so you putter around the room by yourself, organizing Huntress's various trinkets collections. All bottles over here. Discarded vintage dolls parts over here. Various keys that don't open anything in particular. Doesn't she have a drawer filled with these? Everyone has a drawer like that. Then you then you lay a blanket down in front of the fireplace for no reason. No reason at all. You're certainly not imagining all the naughty things that you could go down on such a blanket. What's that I hear? Uh, what's that in her strong yet delicate hand? You reach out for her, longing to stroke her blood and matted hair and scratched up shoulders. I thought we could get warm by the fire. Mm. <laughs> she wags a finger at you, a bunny-licious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Remember when we talked about how there's more going on here? You nod like an idiot, little idiot. Well... I know now there's something up. The other night while you were sleeping like a cute little baby, I snuck into each of the killer's liars, uh, lairs even, and saw them with shiny objects that they've been stealing from me. I think they're connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with this symbol. I tried to go back last night with something, uh, but something blocked me from picking any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm onto them. I think if you try, it might work. What do you say? Will you help? Hell yes. 
a glob a globe rotting treasure hunt on the level of Nicolas Cage masterpiece. <laughs> you can definitely count me in. Oh, please say if they do a second game, Nicolas Cage is in it. Let's go. I'll be your guardian angel. You never know when the those other killers might pop in. You grab Huntress's hand and practically trip over your own feet on your way out of the door. It feels good to have a quest thrilling. But part of the reason but part of you is just wondering how quickly you can get through this and uh get through this and impress Huntress. Soon she'll take you in her yoinked arms and you'll swoon. Your childhood crush on Popeye is making more and more sense. <laughs> Your childhood crush on Popeye, really? Where do you want to start? There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not going to let them get away with it. Which one will you investigate? Trapper first. There are two ways to get to Trapper's cave due to the whole, you know, trap-based character theme he's got going on. You can rest assured that either one of you, either one of these pathways is filled with traps. You turn to Huntress for advice. But she giggles and shrugs her shoulders. You're on your own, it seems. Through the forest. Ah, yes, the forest. Underground, I mean, come on. Putting yourself in the ground voluntarily. That's just asking to be buried dead or alive. Doesn't, doesn't it matter? Uh, doesn't matter. The surface, the surface is where you belong. The light cascading through the leaves of the trees. It casts a hazy glow as you wander into the brush, uh, leaving the cabin behind. But no matter, uh, but no matter, this is Huntress's domain. You think that'll keep you safe, eh? Well, you thought wrong. As soon as you step off the beam path, it lands in one of the trapper's bear traps. He swore he get you. Yeah, you, you can hear his man... Um, Manicle. Manicle. Mani manic maniacal laugh as you bleed out. Wait, am I just dead? <laughs> you stepped in one of my bear traps that I swore I'd get you. I just said that. I've seen a lot of trapped animals and I can confirm he got you. And well, crap, crap, crap. It's fatal, darn it, trapper. Not again. Wait, I'm dead. I'm actually just dead. That's so funny. I'm sorry, but that, that's a little accurate there. I just died. I'm sorry. I can't finish my day. Now I'm just dead. That is that is literally lore accurate. That is lore accurate. Didn't know that could happen. What lie? I, I kind of want to just keep the ending like that. <laughs> just me dying. That is so funny. I can't believe, I can't believe Huntress did nothing though. She just stood there and watched me die. I mean, I guess she is the type that's like survival of the fittest. Can't believe you fumbled Huntress this bad. Nah, man, I could try again, but... Nah, screw it, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. I will not accept that. I will not accept that fate. It did not happen. It did not, it did not. Oh, this again, really? Let's just, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to start me all the way from here. Let's just skip all of this. Ah, we got our own bunny, ah, our own bunny mask. Yay. Yay. We got our own bunny mask. And we remember to tidy up. I could try a different one, but no point. We'll just, we'll just tidy up. Tidy up and skip on over all the- Hell yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Let's not get trapped again. All right. Woo! All right. We're going to trap this game. Woo! Underground tunnel. Woo! <laughs> Surely a dimly lit tunnel like this must be rife with traps. However, you managed to make your way along the uh, distinctly uncaught by any traps rusty bear or otherwise. I got this. You're doing great. Uh, you're doing great. You're not, you're not at all f afraid? Who, me? Nah. 
I gotta say, this is up there among the nicest, damp, and seemingly abandoned tunnels I've ever wandered, though. Look, it even has lights. Inspired by Huntress's bravery, you dig deep in yourself and summon courage of your own, which is good, because you're going to need it if you're going to head through this murdery-looking passageway ahead. Let's go! Uh, you enter into a humid, shadowy cave, dripping watery echoes all around you. It's definitely not cozy like the cabin you left behind. You wonder how deep it goes. Let's go over this with... Oh. Ah, uh, the trap is there. Yeah, I knew you'd come. Trapper, get out of the way or I'll skewer you and sever you for lunch. You're wasting your time. You'll never find what you're looking for. Unless what you're looking for is a mini game. What a mini game? Ah, oh, another mini game. I'm ready. Woo. Aha! Ha ha Perfect. Aha! Ha ha! Not bad. Uh, also not bad. I missed. I missed. I'm sorry, Huntress. I wasn't fat enough. I almost had it, but it slipped through my sweaty fingers. No worries. My nerve vision is so well developed. I can see the object we're looking for right there. Huntress points at something glimmering from the floor. You steal your the shiny object and run. It's a pen. It's a pen. Damn it. <laughs> so Huntress's pen was found. Uh, we did good. We're going to go through Spirit's Lighthouse next. This place is spooky as heck. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful just a moment ago? So you're telling me that your precious shiny thing is up there? You've been chasing Huntress uh, for three hours, have I? No, man. I need to speed things up. It's pretty great. Oh, it's pretty great, right? Finally having a good chance. Oh my god, I'm unscrewing my microphone. <laughs> Finally having a good chance to activate these quads. You don't get legs like these from standing still. But you already know I love a good workout. Running, jumping, climbing, roughhousing. Ugh. Okay, okay, let's get up there. So shall we? Yes, let's get up there. Go, 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 go. We want to get up there. Now right here, I don't have time. Spirit, you're looking pretty pleased with yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, wait, that's not it. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole being dead thing. <laughs> Did you totally get sadder that closer uh, got to the top of the light tower? That was me, baby. I get to share my wealth, and by wealth, I mean unending despair. You're probably here for one of your precious shiny things that I've stolen. Good luck finding it. I'll be over here reading if you need me. Let's find the shining, uh, shiny thing and then anything to brighten the mood in here. Don't miss the treasure. This is a treasure hunt, not a treasure miss. Ready. Not bad. No, I know that was that was terrible. What do you mean? Okay, that was good. That was good. Perfect. Into the bowl. Okay. You win some, you lose some, you lose some, you steal some. Great, just grab the damn thing and let's go. It's a bottle opener thing. Yay. Hey, no, stop. <laughs> stop. There are four colors who have stolen from Huntress. You're not going to let them get away with it. Okay, on to the next one. Rafe's Cosmic Dump. When you arrive, Rafe's... Uh, yep, 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 yep. Let's just steal the thing and get out of there, shall we? I'm going to hunt us some lunch while you find the object. You'll know when you see it because it's extremely shiny. Uh, how long have you been standing here? Are we, re are we ever really there? I don't have time for your existential crisis today, Rafe. Huntress and I are totally going to get it on soon, I think. I hope. <laughs> Like, I need to find a special object you've hidden, you've stole from Huntress, and she knows it. Uh, so you're trying to figure out this whole thing out too, huh? Come, check this out. 
Ooh, telescope to the beach. Holy smokes, is that? Sorry, I actually have no idea what this is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. Oh, that's what Ghostface is. And maybe all the other IP killers. Where all the coolest killers from intellectual properties uh, technically are. That's not even that's not even all zoom zoom in over there. Oh. I can zoom in? Oh yo, it's Ghostface! <laughs> the one I really wanted to fall in love with. Is that Ghostface? <laughs> I'm sorry, he just kinda popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy is going on here. I'll have you know, I wasn't trying to steal anything from Huntress. I was just looking for answers, but I'm um, occasionally losing said answers. Yep, that's right. The thing you're looking for, I can't actually find. So, good luck, I guess. I'll go to another mini game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mini game. Perfect. Into the bowl. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh. You see an old pair of glasses on the ground. Quick, grab them. You found it. It's so shiny. I knew I could count on you, Pine. Let's get out of here. Woo! On to the next one. I'm good to go. Speed run time. Speed run time, baby. <laughs> Wait, who's next? Oh my god, we go to Trickster stage? Is this on IP Island? Is this on IP Island? Please say this is on IP Island. <laughs> my concerts are always an experience. You should really come on to my after party. Come to one of my after parties sometime. There's a real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. I prefer acoustic balakala music. Trickster, I've never listened to your music, and I think sampling the sounds of people's screams is very been there done that. Hey. No one talks to the trickster like that. And how do you know about my samples? Somebody is obviously a much bigger fan than they're letting on. Show me uh, where Huntress's mysterious item is. Way to hash my mellow. Uh, deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it because it's my commentary on a shallow society and I make it look sexy as hell. The finger majig is that way. Let's go. The, the way you stood up to that bootleg backstreet boy just now was wow. If I weren't sh so strong and stable on my feet, I'd be soon. But it just wouldn't be believable. Find my shiny finger champion. Perfect. Perfect. Not bad. <laughs> Also, not bad. Also, not bad. You did it. Your ability to find the unfindable is quite uncanny. I'm natural hunter, I must say. Do you think I might be able to find your heart? I would hope so. It's very important to locate and remove all the internal organs of a your prey as soon as you find them so their meat doesn't spoil. Perfect. Oh, what's this? You found a gold coin. Phew! That was fun! And scary! Good to see other killers are talk taking their heartbreaking stride, more or less. And you got a real nice tour of some of the island's lesser known hunts. <laughs> Boom! Still got it. We make a pretty good damn team, you and I. What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now that yours is back in order, maybe we could go back inside and to appreciate it. And you collect a certain other special gift I've been meaning to give you. A special gift? Is it shiny? I suppose it could be if you oil it up enough. Oh my god! I'm going to be ill. <laughs> give me my reward. Give me my reward. Oof. Is it getting hot in here? I think it's getting hot in here. You're practically undressing each other as you walk through the door. Minds elsewhere. Neither of you realize that the door was wide open. You were incredible each time you found one of the objects. My heart beat faster and faster. 
my nimble hands. Is there anything I they can't find? The fireplace is crackling. Your heart is pounding. The smell of cinnamon in the air. But wait, who is that? Yo, who is that? Huntress quickly pulls her beach cover up back on. My darling. An older Russia. Whoa! Whoa! Plot twist of the century! Is this her mother? You play it out. Ah, a ghost! A ghost? You scramble to grab an axe off the wall and swing it wildly through the air in front of you. Get behind me, Undress, and I will slay it. Seriously, Anna. Seriously. No, I should do like, I should try and do it. Seriously, Anna. You come to an island of killers, and this is who you want to spend your time with. A coward. A coward who would swing an axe with incredibly poor form. Mind you, at your own mother. I can't believe... I can't believe this is happening. Hi, Mama. Oh my god, the biggest cock block of the century. I cannot believe this. Bet you weren't expecting this date to include meeting her mom. What? Hey, Huntress. Hey, Huntress, how do you feel about your dear old mom coming to interrupt your date? Huntress throws her hatchet directly at the two survivors. It skewers a wall in between them without any, any, another word. They quickly scurry away. Good girl. Huntress turns to you. I hope this is all right. Of course. I give great parent. Huntress breathes a sigh of relief. It's just not the mood I thought we were going, coming back to. But here I am. I'm in it. I'm ready to turn to meet your mama. Thank goodness. Because my mother is the only other person I am. I mean, most important person in my life. We Russians invented the... Didn't you know that? I, I, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't believe this. I cannot believe that her mother is here. I like you. Thank you for indulging me in my D and stories. So tell me, what are your intentions with my... Mm. That means bunny, but you guessed that already, didn't you? To start a family together. All that's on my mind is family. To forge our own forest dwelling with a broad... Uh, a brood... Of half a dozen, at least hunting side by side forever. Mama Huntress smiles at you. For you, the one worthy of my Anna, use it to clean your hatchet of viscera. You take uh, the handkerchief, it's soft and smells of spices. I'll take good care of this. You point to Huntress. Her, on the other hand, she can take care of herself. My time on this plane has coming to an end. The weird, the weird magic from the ghost girl black lighthouse won't keep me here for long. Oh my god. It was spirit who brought you back. I'll have to thank her. Anna, Annie, really? The fool, this foolish character. It's your life, I guess. But honestly, I'd rather you just be alone. No, don't say that. I need to love her and date her. Dwight, get out of here. It's time for a dramatic scene between the lovers. Shall we up yon the forest clearing for ambience? Oh my god, leave. I need to talk to her alone. Hey, I've really loved hanging out with you. I think it's, I think it's time. Time for what? Oh my, oh, okay, okay. I'm ready for this. Time for you to call me by my real name like my mother does. Will you call me Anna? Oh, that. Yeah, of course. I think Anna is a beautiful name. And you're a beautiful person, Anna. Pine, do you know what I'd like to do right now with you beneath the moonlight? I'm feeling closer to you than ever than I have ever had before. And there's nothing I'd rather do right now than... She averts her eyes. Does she mean... Nope. Shop up these two fools with you. 
Yes! <laughs> They've been cock blocking us the entire night. My hatchet is as sharp as my love for you. Let's get bloody. It's a gruesome scene as you and the Huntress go to town on these innocent survivors who just wanted to help you guys out. Kill them! We were being forced to help. Ah. Shall we return to the cabin? I love to get you out of that beach where and into something a little less there. But you never ask. Finally! They don't, they, they can't cock block anymore. They are dead. I finally get to what I've been waiting for for almost three hours. Three hours almost. Get, get, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, we're about to do the hanky panky. And do the hanky panky and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Okay, 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 okay. Am I nervously running my mouth now just to give you some alone time in the dark, maybe? Yep, stop me. Uh, I hope Billy adopts our clown walk into a bar. <laughs> Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to it. Post doing it, you and Huntress lie together in the warmth of the fire. Everything is so perfect. You imagine Mama Huntress uh, smiling down at you from beyond. Then you realize that pretty gross to imagine her having just watched all of that. You turn around to think, start thinking, that was incredible. You're telling me. Ooh, mama. No, we've walked right into a scene from a horror film. As soon as people have sex, they die. Not when I'm around. I mean, she is a buff Russian lady, so, you know. Huntress proceeds to hatch it from out of nowhere. Oh, procures a hatch it from out of nowhere. Was in the bed with you guys? The wriggling torsos of Dwight. Oh my god, that back? No way, man. How? Uh, you thought that this island would let us die permanently? Have you ever played Dead by Daylight? Come on, we have the final scene. I mean, decision. I mean, it was worth killing you guys, though. And I'll do it again. Okay, 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 okay. Right, right. Let's get, let's get to the final decision. Last day, you beautiful piece of meat. You've done so well. We're almost at the finish line. You didn't think I brought you all this way without a plan, did you? What kind of sinister body of salt water do you think I am? A whoosh of dark energy surrounds you and disappears as quickly as it came. The island noises begin to... And... Oh! <laughs> I can't wait any longer. The pomp and circumstance is agonizing. You're telling me. Stick to the script, Claudette. Okay, so Huntress, how do you feel about the newcomer? I think everything your murderous little heart ever has ever longed for. Hey, so I think that's definitely something between us. Hold on, something? Hold up, something? Yeah, something great. Animal magnetism. My legs are the trap and you're the little snowshoe rabbit running through the underbush. But it isn't... Quite soulmate start. No! No! I'm getting dumped. You must have felt it. Oh my god. I went through all of that for nothing. Are you kidding? I'm so angry right now. I'm actually so angry. But this doesn't have to be the end. I'd love to tie you up in the, my basement and see where this all goes as friends. No thanks. That's a nice offer, but I think I'm going to have to try and see other people. So, that's going to be a no thanks from me. Too late, Huntress is already- Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Mushroom tea? Nope, no thank you. No thank you, please no. I'm so upset. You'll never truly know Huntress's love. Well. Not her shamed among peers who view each other as equals love. I'm so upset about this. Like 34% sure. And so my precious killers lived happily ever after. As they should. 
learning to love themselves first and foremost. Whilst trapped in a never-ending cycle of torture of my design. Wait, did I just spoil my true identity? You've made it this far, you should probably know that. That you'll be playing again to find out more. Goodbye, Pine. See you again later and again and again and again. Forever. I'm disappointed. I finally got time with the Huntress. Finally got time with her. And she dumped me anyway. I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. I'm so sad now. Well, that is a stream, everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed. This is actually funny because this this uh part of the stream is going to make it in the new Dead by Daylight video because my new Dead by Daylight video is only four minutes long and I need other clips to fill it up. So this is going to be in that. So yeah, cool. Okay, and it'll probably be on video on the gaming channel as well. All right, cool. That was a fun game. I genuinely think um I am very disappointed that I never actually got to... Stay with Huntress. I, I I made decisions to make her happy. And she still ended up leaving me. But, um, you know, the forest and hunting, which isn't very fair in my part. But anywho, it is what it is. We'll be streaming tomorrow a different game that ho hopefully will not be breaking our heart quite like this one. But until next time, I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. And this is uh, Pine Tree logging off. Goodbye. <laughs>